Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon from United Kingdom. I greet everybody. I greet you now. This is not the Akagbe show on Niger Watch. Where would the people Nakama be? Talking for pigeon English so that people go understand. My people, I greet you now today. Wherever you are, it's afternoon here in United Kingdom might be early morning or afternoon to in america and asia my people i just say make i come out today make i come tell you now say thank you make we discuss how social media strong for this modern days social media really strong Social media are really strong for for this day and age, for this modern day. My people, for some time now, for the past three weeks, now go down here some messages on when when we're going about uh, Arisco, Ogamia, and uh, the Palace of Benin. This matter go a long way. Every Benin people. Uh, do uh, Benin speaking people the team first then then quarrel put then really annoying say so how can this happen so even me too will be your back everybody begin the quarrel the first say why our governor go give recognition to Arisco Gamia now we don't see the whole truth the whole thing don't come out now but this video today i just do a dedication to the responsible social media influencer the those in diaspora social media influencer people with the influence people with the present social social with the work for this social media not them really fight this world the thing really tough it can't make me believe say that been a parable where would they talk all the time amy no yeah do it be a here yeah yeah amy no you man do it be a here yeah he said very good no any cow yeah no we Rini kao tae no wye. Emi no nye do be, e yi kwea. When this fight day on, I remember that parable when I just made just now, the saying in a do, that emi no nye do be, e yi kwea. That is to say, me a nakan for PG. The thing where they pay beneath people for body, you know, they reach three years. Then go see the end of it, then go see the bottom of it. This now the saying, the parable of the Bini, of the great Bini people. All these things now they put for mind, they fight for the whole world. We'll be say, go reach Ghana coast, Congo reach Niger Delta. If you find the trouble, then go quiet. But when they sit down, think can, then they come back and they will sort that matter out. So pop and play. I still remember those days when they will say, Edoga, you marry. Edoga, you marry. Eh? Somebody will know and make it help me talk. Edoga, you marry. When, 
when Benin people don't go conference, can't go sit down for a round table, can't talk. Yo, I feel we're here. That's the thinking, the hope could change. That's not the thing where God to bless us. We are great people. May I not forget, I greet all social media presenters. I remember five days ago when I came out, I presented as the team pay me rich. I have to go into archives to discuss our governor forefathers to try and trace it from 1892 that this has been the case. But today now, yesterday the case changed from day from the day before yesterday which is a, a monday things started changing oh i like that he said two kingdom have only one king and must be respected at all times person will write that thing you do well and are true our pride and for now this platform now i appeal on behalf of niger watch family Tell the whole people, all social media presenters, protocol observed that we should all speak against this uh, incident, these problems for Benin. And I'm happy a lot of people came out, the responsible ones, so, like the cute queen or so, cute uh, queen, that one, no, you quit, queen, they take, get a, uh, they come out then a uh, lot of other people like uh, this woman I forgot her name now I, I when i remember her name i could talk her but i will talk the other names people when i will give special thanks to we try people like presenter analyzer she really try she really try every day she was coming to speak about it then a lot of people begin to fool me. You will like Oba. You will the carry Oba for her to go. You not talk about her. You not tell Niger Watch me talk about her. Now Niger Watch come out. They just press button like this. They just release ballistic missiles. Boozer, boozer, boozer. They release them on Sunday. By Monday, action don't start. Me, I'm not the liar. It did there on Monday. The chief. Last chief Congo home meeting with government uh, officials. All of the country, the country wrong. All the government officials will be joined. They want to do betrayal business here. The whole thing can't get us if the country wrong. The ghost most more. Hmm. Niger watch. Now you be a martyr, not the governor. Or a martyr. You be a martyr. You be a martyr. I said, say some members of the family for that a matter for Nigeria watch you can get out and be. Well, why matter? When I come out like this, I mean the platform will get about two million followers. The thing reach palace. Me, I don't lie to anybody. I send down, I send my video, the video when I do for Nigeria watch. I send down straight to Prince Agatise Eridiawa. I think I feel shown sure here now. If uh, the thing when I put for granted, not go spoil. I sent that to Ra. Is it right? Me told me. Me told me. I want to talk like I do. I do always to get proof because I grew up for a civilized country, and I know myself. When I do things, the way that they do for us, you don't say if not true, show us evidence. This is not the video. I go show the person who did there. No, I see her. Now, see her name there. That's not Prince Akenzwa. I send her to her. Then I can send her to Prince Aratise Eredewa. No, I see her. I told you. I send her. Send her to her. So, you see, now I can't believe. Some people will say social media, they change things now. Social media is strong. But 
me not have the person where they talk say social media is strong but when they come to use them for policy say that they take uh, do election me not the person with the talk say hi so people with this social media that they come or come vote but i don't know say then they influence people with they hold too now this one this case now make me know when I do and the TS plan, when I talk and I go talk history of uh, the people who did all this thing, we'll see my sister, she just come up today. Agnes A, Itwaye, who I say, that's not my great follower. She respect me. Any program, anything when I put and say I want to, she must join me. Especially if it concerns uh, this palace thing. If you just talk politics near, I not get interest. Agnes A, I don't know what I'm doing. This lady, now only she came out when I talked, say we want to go do, may we get a, a dose in diaspora market for Bini, great market, we go feed help poor people. And this woman first just jump out. She pledged 5,000 pounds towards the project. Now pledge you, I not call her money, I not the eat people money. But before I do that project, that program, I talked, say about government involved. About Siam, he liked the project. He wanted me to come, but before I can go and meet her more, I cannot come out on a, a solo move. Say it's one way, one person or two person involvement. No, I wanted all of those, but not many, very many people pledge money. But I do know our brother went to Australia. That one too was very interested uh mommy diaspora was interested but she now push further so you know still many rich people where we want we go carry that project through yeah did you when anyway, i'll give you your uji first of all make a hang on now may i greet everybody with the year uh among quietly godfrey i salute you i see you this man uh i greet you too you know not that great person with the support you uh -huh. anything with concern palace now you did oh i quasi i greet you what and a great person too i know i get a lot of followers you know a lot of them then after program they for me to discuss how we would do make a do great again sonny and i see you Thank you very much. Sonny and say, it's it, it talking for big English. He say, a dog are you marry? He say, decision will change after thorough consideration. That is true. Nami talk say, you can sit down for round table, they don't discuss that. A dog are you marry? You will be a few more there. And you know, you need to be a you be a. A side girl just say, good evening, my people in the house. One love. I beg, me could I just share this video? Mona share before I start with the talk, before I will give you more info of what happened after that uh, social media war. Doing my now the responsible one, not the one they talk about uh, the do saga. Midwest people don't stand up to discuss this matter too. It don't join us now, Midwest uh, Republic, Midwest people. So. What I told you about, you are welcome to the show. So, okay. all this now, the thing where we, where we see, where we hear, now we begin the fight for those in diaspora. That is to show how much a those in diaspora love Benin. Love that I do. A lot of them, they believe they love a do and they love the palace too, just as the people of Great Britain love their coin. And so we love our own. Nobody will get that bright. Whether you chop that witch or anything, you chop them. Now people first don't chop witch. Eh? God will not hear, I greet you. So what happened that day, and from Monday, the palace chief, Governor, they go up and send them, they go discuss them before we throw away more bomb, more bomb. 
Let the government people begin to fear that they shake. The concert, they're not general, they're not get her for all these things. So we not get her for it to the country deny, the country wrong, the country fear. Me, I already don't get information through one of our brother. I'm not gonna mention the name of that my brother. You know, they talk to me again. He blocked me. When I ask him, I say, why you block me? He said, because in they respect me, not great follower of me, now he be. But he not like the way some people with the, uh, this platform, they talk to me anyhow. Now he make me, he block me. I said, this is my brother, I don't understand. The more they talk to me, the more I'm stronger. So make we leave that side. So when they reach there now, they can't talk. So now, now the government, I'm not sure about Basak, I will mention now. Basak, you can't run her task at her. Can't you see me, they settle the matter. You know, get her for it. The person will sign them, will sign that kind of paper. That one deny, deny everything, deny her. Deny say not being. You don't know anything about that. Who go talk? Who go talk? Say about Benin not great. Now who go can't talk such a thing now about Benin? A do are you married? You if you were here, even on your dog be a yip we are. The begin the wrong. The begin the deny. The begin the carry the blame the give as in also. And I and I and I munazem mono so. Eh? That you say, government. When it comes to about Benin matter, hey, they fear. But some people get time for parable say, I said in the government in Benin, about not throw any stone, about not talk. Oh. The whole thing just, they just fear, just hearing up back come down palace. They fear. God, God save our queen, our yes, king. Yes, God save our king. So, as I go to analyze this video today, as I go to talk for this video, I like one special video where one uh, our uh, 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 social media presenter do, and that person, a presenter analyzer, in video this time by since, I would like to play and um, go analyze on certain things before I go bring our brother, Midwest people, join us. Midwest people, what's it, Kakabo? You are me for coming out today. Tomorrow. What's it? Moki face is illegal. Oh, you're going to give a document. So, for this struggle, may God bless each and every one of us. We yes. fought a good fight. Yes. We tried our best. Yes. And uh, today, I now saw a long fusca. I don't know when we start to vibrate. Olu Wale, Iyamu, the barrister is the attorney general. Yes. That said, Arisco should go and continue his chieftaincy title. Yes. Oh, uh, the attorney general didn't just do it. Because the same attorney general was the person who took Arisco to court in 2015. They even went as far as Supreme Court to ban the risco. So it is the same people that are seen now. The same person was also now the person coming out to say you uh, is Chief Arisco, of which is not Chief Arisco. So the Attorney General, the people, he could make with the talk, make with the fight for waiting good. Because you cannot humiliate and disrespect our palace like that. Enough it happen. Enough it happen. It's way Baba or Bota. You know, enough it happen. So the attorney general now don't come at it all right. He say he not call a chief again. No, he not give. Uh, he no nobody not know anybody as a chief. So meaning they are now denying a risk. A social media go to go to Ahana. Yes, so we gave them a good fight. The attorney general 
who relieved them of the case is not the one writing back to say, Mona, listen, because me not see the write up when he write up now, very long Fusca note. So, yeah, he wrote, he wrote oh, a very long Fusca note. But what he wrote that my brother Diaspora vibe was able to point out here was uh, April. Now, April, they do all this. So, after he don't relieve a risk of the crime, they can't go court for this June. Now, this June, they can't, the judge can't say he don't get case again. Based on say, and those state government don't remove the case. So for that reason, he no get case again. That was the reason the judge said, okay, they throw out the case. Because governor don't say, he no get case with a risk. On the fourth of, uh, no, let me see the date. I need to be. On the 13th of April, 2022, Mona the and those state ministry of justice, he can write. He said the chief Arisco or Senegi. Now it's a addresser. Chief Rich Arisco. If you know your address Arisco Nahena. He was calling him chief already. Knowing fully well that Arisco is not a chief. Unasia, Chief Rich Arisco or Senegi. Number 97. Soap Mobile Road. Okay, I'm quota. Una Night addresser chief of which he the same he will carry a risk of go court in 2015. He no fully will say a risk will not be chief. Palace not give a chief that's a title, they not recognize him. But he now for this April 2022, he called the address a risk as chief. You go not say that something play. Yes, so now social now, media. What can we risk or are you caught the 2015? They by a lawyer, they so they matter in us a supreme court is here. I have banned that risk of a criminal. On here 2022, the same you now came out to be addressing him as chief at rich a risk or senegate. Then can't see what he make weird to people confess. And they come on my people. Because sometimes, okay. He can't tell him, he said, that you immediately. Mona, wait on our network with that. I think we're not here. When I did do my video for 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 five days ago, I tell you now, say April 15, 14, 15. This boy with the call monkey face. This boy with the call monkey face. He phoned me for Nigeria. Will I just finish my niece's funeral? They happy. He said, I go soon here. The governor don't recognize a risk. He's gonna say go do a risk. They go build palace for him. Then they will come get more uh, chief again. Uh, they may for Okada, now so they will get for Isha. Those ones don't come to elevate their status. Now, so why are you lying? Be the Nigeria at the moment. There is nothing like that. I say to my email, say you go share. Say I go do video. Now, say, stop that. I wanna. Monkey face, they watch me here. I go happy, me, for me, me, tell me. If my lie, they lie. So make we listen to our sister first. May she finish the story. Once a guy will thank all social Start media presenter. Mona position Sia. as chief Ogiamie of Bini Kingdom as recognized under our traditional rulers and chiefs law and legal notice issue. Bieto. Unasia, Edo people. This letter, this all this is where I see the reads, the council. Now, waiting the attorney general right, give a risk of take position and call him chief and all. Tell us, say, make it go take a position with immediate effect. A risk of can't wait because court there was court hearing this very much. Before court hearing, they don't already write paper. Government don't quit and say, you know, get case with them. 
Now, when they call Rich Court this June, now I Arisco, the judge can tell Arisco, say, in with them, no get problem again. Based on say, the state governor don't close the case. That was when Arisco was not coming home. He was not dressed like this. Yeah. Not dressed like chief. Attorney General, don't tell him make he go back to his title. Government say he don't get case with him. I Arisco can't dress like this. Yeah. This was last week. Oh, now last week he don't. On a dit hier. Ah, Harris Conan, il y a un mot qui est venu. Bez, on sait, they don't give up, go ahead. And those state government don't give up, go ahead. But they know it fully well that Harris Conan is not a chief. No palace recognizer. Then today, the same attorney general who gave Harris Conan Plus the state government who gave a risk to go and claim his title today now after the social media woto woto and talk 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 and social media woto woto social media strong the way they all come out to start speaking then attorney general can reverse his statement make a the reader for now statement by the office of the honorable attorney general and the Commissioner for Justice at those states regarding the Ogiamir Chief Tansi and matter related dear to. It has been brought to the notice of this office that a controversy appears to have arise or be manufactured yes, arising from the recent exercise of the power of my office in exercising no lay prosecute or withdraw of a criminal charge on the year now you withdraw criminal charge then in order to set the record straight and prevent people with a political agenda from misinterpreting the facts as they relate to this matter we where we call the talk, he call the call and say a political uh, agenda. We are misinforming, but he forgot that the letter is there, Moki face video is there, Monday Were video is there. All of their celebration, even the carry culture. Mema oni me do fi avi kuoni ni fi video ya violate ya. E ya ya agbe o waris o o woki ya me waris ko celebrate. I am we cultural dancing mo ya. Last week here, yeah. now they do all these things. Now in this attorney general, they still come, come they say na 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 political agenda. Is there anything political here? Yeah? You are giving somebody chief tansi title, a person that the palace is not recognized, and you are telling him to go and continue his duty. That the criminal charges against him is all cancelled. You not good now. And at the same you now the court will say, what did you do two months ago? And this very much say na political agenda mis uh, information. Only Mark Bavir Yonya. So he said they want to set the record straight. Oh, it is necessary to recount the sequence of events that led to the current situation. Sometime in 2015, more the year within during a period of traditional transition in the Benin Kingdom, a certain rich Arisco or Senegal made claims in various newspapers and other electronic media to be an alternate traditional ruler with within the Benin Kingdom and to describe himself as emperor of Utantan kingdom now the year to tell you say this our attorney general Oluwole knows the history of the case that video i showed you people was done in 2015 when our baba was still a prince by then he was preparing to become the king 
a risk of Congo they make problem. This present attorney general, Oluwole, was one of the lawyer who took a risk to court. Make a the explainer for people where where. Okay, the same claim to followed up this act by instituting an action at the High Court against the Bini Traditional Council, the Edo State Government and Traditional Authorities in Bini Kingdom with a view of securing a court order to restrain the coronation of His Majesty Obaiwai II as the Oba of Bini. It was my duty, honor, and privilege as the then Solicitor General of Edo State and a senior advocate of Nigeria, sir, to work alongside other senior counsel. When I see what I tell you, I just want to say, this Nobatiri, he was among the people in 2015 that worked against Arisco and at the same in 2022. A case in Wemu Balo of 2015. The same year we do our final in 2022. We were going another governor on it. A minute we were Balo of 2015. Or he said 2022. When I hit to our final because I went to final. So, you could not be missing my people. He said, alongside other senior counsel of Edo State Extraction, who successfully combated and ultimately defeated this claim right up to Supreme Court. Una see what I tell you, say. 2015, this case go as far as Supreme Court. That's why the Ogudo Giamiewe Ide, Osaobo Okunga side, they were now protesting that they don't know a risk of that they have no problem with the Bini kingdom and with our other. As a corollary of the then ongoing civil claim in 2015, the Ministry of Justice, through the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, five charges, charge yeah, number whatever in 2015, may I not read that out? Now, people, when I hear that now, I will bring our sister in again. You see, this is what happened in 2015. I should draw an ally, so. And that case for 2015, now show me now the governor there, now press for charges. In 2022, now here, the same attorney general the thing come come the war war come not come no way till they talk again the thing come cause big wahala big trouble come they change mouth come they talk speak with both mouths so this case can be like that up to last week it was still not clear what is happening Nadia those in diaspora before last week that the verse and they face out, face the judge, the, ju the judicial system, the justice office. They face out, even go reach executive office. They face them. Only a door are you marry. You if you will yeah. They come to change but Who go talk say social media? No, you know, you know, get power now. Eh? Who go talk now? Social media is very, 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 very strong. By the time this artifact matter come, we hear. Now here we still stay for Europe, diaspora and America. I just say diaspora. We fight and fight and fight and governor can remove out from the artifact. Where they still the legal on the cost people, the, the whole attorney general be good come the talk uh come the world war. When I do have two more, when I do have two more ever. Talk about Bona, Tinok Bona. Do you have to not pay me? You can't make a lot of people come talk to the governor at a time where everybody be done quiet, fold hands, you don't look. It was even getting to the point 
will the Edo people be one call for the resignation of any Edo serving men for Governor Godwin Obaseki government? Make the sit down for home, only one and uh, non natives between the run they do. Now then we draw. Make only me not talk all too much. Too. I want to let our brother, uh, Midwest uh, people, because Midwest people now, me don't understand why name be. Now that name, now I may take three weeks ago when I tell everybody, say, I be a doma, me not belong to Nigeria again. Because People they talk say Nigeria bad, Nigeria bad, Nigeria bad. It will happen. Nigeria good those days when they cut the countries into region. Midwest Republic, the whole place can't do okay. Now they can't put all together. Now they can't they make a yeah, yeah, people can't they add cut state because they marry from there, give them one state, give them local government. Things can't turn upside down. I don't do many videos how life. To better those days that they see scholarship, that they see correct boarding school, that they see people who come study for abroad, said government will pay. Not the politics we want to talk to do, but this is I see politics, I do politics so that. So I'd like to welcome our brother, Midwest Republic. What have you to say in this matter? Go ahead, fire down. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, Thank good evening. You my listeners and viewers, and I hope more people will come to the show. I want to thank your, your effort and the people who have been coming here to comment on this issue. A very shocking issue to every one of us. Even yeah. many Bini people here in diaspora, the shock never let them even talk because it's beyond their imagination. What exactly is going on? Uh, why the thing even come out? We're not seeing something will be like a bomb share for street of Bini yet. Yeah. Uh, and again, according to the investigation you just said, many of our governor supporters, uh, we are in the street making him, uh, that, you know, stand for him to become our governor. They are not with him. So those ones, they are, it's, it's like when you are with somebody, you are trying to pass with that person and yeah. he's about to cross a very strong red line. You will tell him, this one, I don't follow you cross here. So that is what is changing the whole uh, situation. Yeah. Our governor is mean to cause confusion in the kingdom. And uh, naturally, he, 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 was, he doesn't have orientation about it, how the tradition of the land work. And uh, yeah. many of these people, they took our, our hospitality now for granted. For it's, right. That is a fact. Yeah, mm. it's a fact. Uh, they, they feel they can just come there, do whatever they like and go away. I think it is time for our people to start mobilizing their strength yes. to make sure they stand as an Edo. Yes, sir. For back Kenzo of blessed memory, stand up and say, look, I can never be part of Western Nigeria. He mobilized people through referendum in the history. When you look at the entire continent, all these countries you see, they were created by force. Yeah. That was a moment a territory was created. He governized the entire kingdoms within the Edo, within the Benin empires. Then put them together. They went into a referendum and Midwest region was created. Yes. Now, if he never stand up at that very moment for we as Edo, now we wouldn't have been able to talk anything that related to Benin. At all. When you look at Nigeria today, they have mismanaged the country. The day they created this so-called Wazobia, that is the day they destroyed the country. We don't know whether Peter Obi will come and pass it or another person will come and pass it. But look at the mindset of our neighbor. When the Braifa call for Braifa, they will draw map, pian, come and divide Edo in Edo people's hand. Yeah. Yoruba is following the same path. They don't want to respect at all the history of the memory of how Midwest was created. Yeah. And when the Brifa go to River State, they will tell them, no, we are Benin, we are not Brifa. And indeed, yeah. there's nothing like Brifa until 1914. The yeah. East was created 1914. Forcefully, with a gunpoint, against the indigenous people. For the interest, and they even make it that they say for administrative convenience yes sir. because the Benin never allowed them to create certain nigeria they came for 
And that's yes. why they amalgamated us. The Calabari and Bini are the real resistance. Yeah. If you go to the history of that very region. Now, let us live peacefully. We are all black race, pan-African. But we must, we cannot live together when we don't have respect for one another. So we now see people are becoming so disrespectful to the peaceful atmosphere our ancestors labor for. It is our time we, we, we have to open our eyes and change the way we welcome people into our land. It yes, needs so. to change now. If yes, we so. think to do it now, it's a game over. Yes. All these things that are happening today are happening because of a vacuum. Thank God for Obaseki attitude. The attitude is bad. I keep on telling people, when something is bad, don't just throw it away. Analyze it, and you will profit from it. Yes. We never expected how fast we will end up in a situation like this, in a those days. Ohan Gyoma type such a paper and say he's planting a chief in the Benin. The, no regard for the tradition, institution. Yes. It means we don't have identity if we cannot pro we can't protect our this is what they want to turn on so so when yes. they go to data state they want to enforce their brother people will even tell them the one that speak is we tell them we are not ready for what you people are doing we our father told us we are from Benin. so they became so jealous and it's very unfortunate that people within the Benin continue to sponsor fake history about Benin heritage yes for years then you continue to wonder who is behind these guys. Now I want to make it clear: some chiefs are behind them. The governor is behind them. Yes. He doesn't have value for the traditional heritage, yes. cultural heritage of the land, and he doesn't have Bini people. That word Bini irritates the governor. Bini Technical College. Ogbemudia, either Ogbemudia Ali, because I don't know when it was. I know this to be Ogbemudia. Ogbemudia. Okay, when you mention anything good, you're not going to remember. You mention Ogbemudia and Ali. So, let's see, we figure Canadian, it out. Canadian government or Canadian. Uh, uh -huh. so. Technical college then. Yes. And you see how they love us. They were transferring technology to us. They yes. brought equipment. And they named it Bini Technical College. Our brother, yes. I go renovate. I don't come on that Bini. I don't give her one name there. Which, which name that they call her now? I don't know. Later, when we investigation, we have a lot of So, I saw, I saw it on video here that uh, the whole boys of that school came out and told them, no, you can't change the name of our school. There's nothing wrong with Bini Technical College. Why are you changing it? Mm -hmm. So, to tell you, sometimes you figure out, what is wrong with this man? The system of government they are practicing is not for the people. It's for their boss. Yes. All this project they are showing has no significant effect for the life of their people no way yeah if you know what is called governance you know these people are not doing anything that will benefit you tomorrow all this project doesn't have the true bureaucracy for any government to sign any project in the yes. first place so then they are the only one that register the companies they are the one that award uh, contract to the companies Nobody is responsible for the activities of this company. If they like, they can just put only quota. Tomorrow, water wash it. Who are you going, are you going to cry to? So you can see the way they, 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 they operate. Now, the other day, they built a school. We call it School of Agriculture and Science and Technology. Go to that school. They are using black, black, black and blue paint to be dry, drawing cassava and yam. Is that technology? In these no. modern days. They, what, do you have tractor there? Who is going to report which kind of squad there's nothing like technology there is useless they give a big name you see people going up and down the, the agricultural merging my man you keep on wondering where are we going we just have the resources we are wasting them then the coming to the tradition itself you want to bring crisis to Benin. it's not it's not welcome and i think people should advise him but we, as a do who, who love his father's land, have to see this conspiracy as a serious threat. And many Bini people are already queued in. Go to social yes. media. If go person will not get way we not see stunt to talk. Go on carry Bini history come. He do this, this, this. In other words, to bring the palace down. Because they feel when they are able to penetrate that place, they will take over Bini. If not for the Obakens, what would have been doing? Nobody would have thought of it. 
for since 19 uh, 1914 and that is when they make igbo language compulsory in the eastern region they make yoruba language even the yoruba wasn't it was it wasn't a, a large ethnic My in brother Moody, I never fear your own. At this yeah. place, I don't like the comment from Clifford Moody are there. I mean, if it's possible, they should put him on time out for the time being. We don't, we don't, if you want to know how great Benin is, we fought up to the West African coast, all the, to the Niger Delta region. We own those areas. Okay, I and want to tell that guy, if, if he doubt it, it eh, in the Berlin conference, when they share the Southern Nigeria, they call it Benin, where they gave yeah. it to British. They did not give him a name, Niger or anything. The N N Benin, the whole south of Nigeria, they yeah. gave it to the British in the Berlin Conference. History is that the German knew it. Yeah. But when they came, it is the resistance of the Benin that prolonged the formation of the southern Nigeria. Before okay. finally it break to war, go and make your history. All these people are artificial people. The real Benin people that were in all this eastern part of nigeria some of them they still call them osu today it never yeah. worked we don't we don't hate them but the way they are coming you will understand that they don't have anything good for us the way we have it for them is it not good we change the way we approach things yes. this is it it's not too late so if our people back home and those who feel they are connected to this heritage they refuse to start thinking on how to see all this threat now i tell you a few years to come there will be more. These things will double. My brother, I just one second. NCBD, NCBD, I don't know, NCBDT, you can check through the comment section. There is a link to join us so that we don't discuss history one-sided so you can add your own. A message for NCBDT. Check the link. Come and join us and discuss what you know. Thank you very much. Attorney, go ahead. So, okay, the heritage of people is the identity. And once they are not able to preserve it, yeah. they will disappear. Now, the language is disappearing faster. The king wants that language to be restored, but you have a governor that doesn't have interest for it. So, yeah. all this back of book they read for so many years, you know, this curriculum that make them master's degree were designed by Babangida. The original yes. educational syllabus and system end during the Bagheera time. Yes. No, and now look at the way, yes, when you look at the way they now view life, they decided to use the word modern to replace backwardness. When they are acting in a backward manner, they will tell you we are in a modern life. Yes. So people can no longer sense it easily. My a lot of things is going on that these people you wonder on they have. Look in United Nations Council, this thing Europeans that they appointed to you they are bad. They raise it. There are many languages say bad to be eroded Stint. from the world. Yeah. And our language fall into one of those ones. To be this extinct. language, yeah, to be instincted from the from from the world. Now, if people who are not connected to this heritage are concerned you that call yourself educated person what will stop you not to be concerned if indeed you have knowledge and the importance of what these people are talking about once you lost it you have no identity that's what it means now besides that all the, it, i'm i talked i'm talking to you from sweden we have a king here it yeah. is the interest of the government to protect that place because it carry whom they have you yeah. go to Denmark, they have a queen. They must protect it very well. It's only Finland here that you don't have these things uh, in the whole of Scandinavia. No way they have their queen there. Now, yeah. when you look at all these people, that does not stop them not to triumph technologically, know how. Yeah. Now, the money to develop our land, they give it to the governor. They wrote a constitution, give them power to be behaving. You can suspend chiefs, you can do this. Man, it is our time we wake up and say this constitution is useless. We, if they don't stand up and say they need their land back, the whole world will listen. It doesn't need okay. uh, a war. We need to talk to our brothers and say Nigeria is not working. 
who were pan africa we believe we are black race we can live together but now the way things are going we want to manage ourselves yes it will be better for us all this so-called nigeria it was designed forcefully to fail. Mm. to fail there is nothing good that can come out from there yes except somebody have to come in and admit this fact and start changing things nothing yeah. you can put there that can work as far as the situation is concerned you cannot pump the money for education to one person you pump the money for 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 health care the money for yeah. for everything you name the infrastructure to one governor and the ministry that's supposed to account is in the governor office the one outside is just a uh, caricature it has nothing to present then they are just exposed to this wet they share it among themselves build road commission the road since you have been abroad you see where Boris Johnson go and commission road or one of your major let anybody come out and tell that the commission no they certify road yeah engineer will go there and say yes this road they don't build down the architect will design that road go say yes because he designed it and kept it in the government ministry it yeah. has been fulfilled according to the way it, it, it was designed the yes. measurement the size everything is intact safety engineers that will first of all apply that road we say this area you must drive only 80. this area you must drive 120. they put safety first they it, must be, it must be trade standard organization that will go the, there and, then a, group of a lot of bodies work. are involved then it will not come to the engineers permanent secretaries to some of these authorities that will not go and certify it for use sometimes they tell you five years and there are also departments who are responsible for maintenance. Thank you. These people we will just keep every minister of works that we get. They the will keep. Yeah, British gave paper everything and during Babangida. That Midwest, you said everything was functioning. Let me tell you, people go to villages in the Bende State to go and teach people how to farm. They call it agricultural extension. Do you have yeah. this in Babangida State to power? No. When you are in school, inspectors will come. People yeah. are responsible for the roofing. People are responsible that children are being taken care of. You don't have those things again. Thank you, Mr. Let's, let's hear what uh, NCBD T will have to say. NCBD, NCBD, you are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, thank you, uh, sir. Thank you so much. I've been listening to this uh, uh, program, and uh, I can say that it's a very important channel because thank it's uh, yeah. But you know, um, I, you know, from what uh, my brother has been saying for some time now, I just wanted to, because you know, some of us cannot just, um, some of us also have, uh, 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 you know, our history, you know. So it's good that uh, sometimes we have it as a discussion, so that it doesn't look like anybody is uh, trying to override the other person. But you yeah. see, what I'm trying to, what I, what I want to do first is to ask a question that will now lead me to make my contribution. Uh, and that question is this, we are uh, in Benin, because I'm not from Benin, so that's why I'm asking. I believe you are from Benin and the, and the brother who just spoke. So it's yeah. good for me to ask people who are from Benin or from Edo State. So in Edo State or in Benin, what I want to understand is the Benin... Do, does it does the kingdom have its own language or is it the same language that uh, maybe people from Auchi and I think is it Isha are they speaking or is it one language or does Benin have its own language different languages okay. let no, me can, if I, let, if I let want to break it explain to you first then I'll come in and explain to let you. me just break this okay. one for you okay the word language is very confusing now i will tell you why because language do change when set of people start missing together the language in that place during the ancient time automatically will start changing let me give you an example if you are in sweden someone from stockholm when he talk when you speak swedish language someone from south will understand that this person is from stockholm when you speak people from the deep north that is that is where you really have this snow of a thing when they speak their swedish everybody will understand but at the end they have been able to modernize this language that everyone can communicate and understand with it now our ancestors the Beninese, 
have a way since it we, when you talk about the first of now you are start talking about Benin from 11th century this is not a joke so now they have a way of communication from Benin down to Ghana history is still there Africans we are not like the way they want to describe us like monkeys on trees the Benin history prove it wrong with their artifact alone it showed these people we are living in a very peaceful and prosperous kingdom or else they would have been able to achieve that during those ages now the british came to you they came with simple and correct english just less than 100 there are english you speak in nigeria and the british man cannot understand except you are a nigeria citizen which we call broken this is how language changes now when they came they came with mo bad motive so they tried to come and do the Saturn Nigeria a Benin a Republic give it to them in from Berlin. But resistance did not allow them. So they struggled too much and it led to war. The Benin fought, they formed the South. The wife now decided to say, let's give uh, Saturn Nigeria. They named it Saturn. Now, 14 years of that period, only six months they were able to govern the Saturn Nigeria from Benin. If you go and make your research, you will see six months they now shifted to calabar side at that cross river or river i can't remember precisely today from that place they start governing Satan nigeria for 14 years within these 14 years it was complex for them they have never been a place where they have not been able to achieve anything they see other colonial indirect through working elsewhere with french and other uh, 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 colony now they ask the same method was so complex for them to achieve the way they were doing it in ghana so all they could do is that they not change for administrative purpose. They split the Benin. Now, this is where the divide starts from. When they start splitting the Benin Empire, which involves so many kingdoms, because when you say an empire, it means other kings are there, kingdoms are there, and they govern themselves independently without any interference. So that is what an empire means. So, so kingdom now fell into the eastern part, which were part of Benin. That is why when you go to East, like Dr. Onwa de Azikiwe wrote a book that they are from Benin, you can't deny this. So when you go to one part, they will tell you we are Benin. So they also had some part of the West. The Benin capital itself became part of the West. This was after 14 years. And within these 14 years, they have been able to grow Enugu as a place that will be not be conducive for capital. They have been able to grow Ibadan as a place that will be conducive for capital. If these people were really uh, the way they had today, trying to influence the, the narrative of Nigeria. The British would have waste time to go to Calabar land. It was Calabar land. Nigeria was amalgamated. The Nigeria you are talking about today, not Igbo land, not Yoruba land. And, you can and, see where and, our problem and, is coming and from. And they, and they now adopt a policy of making it declaration everybody in the East must speak Igbo language. And that is the only language, local language they were teaching. In the West, Benims we are learning Yorubas. So now they spread the Yoruba. You see where the confusion of language is coming from. Now, this is how we start lost in this language. And they gave us British English. From, from this colonial period to this period of our independence, just put it together. The language they gave to you, you change it to Pidgin English. If you were to identify yourself today as a Pidgin, your population will be more than the British who brought the languages 100 years ago. So please, we as a whole, History make it clear that Africans were communicating before these guys came and disrupt everything. And today we are not communicating in their language, as if we don't we don't relate with one another before. So I hope I've cleared your can maybe I, if you have any doubt. Can, 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 can I add? Can I add to it? Yes, yes, please. Uh, before I make my uh, observation, in Sibidi, you see, Benin is one tribe in the Edo region. Let's say uh, one historian, I swear, I see it, called it a do, a do it, a do it. That's a modern word that they've given to them. But you know, we have Isha, we have Afema, we have the Benin. And the Akido. Yeah, one kingdom. So yeah. the, there are similarity in their dialect and uh, in their languages when they speak. It's almost the same thing. One thing you don't know. When these people leave Benin, because they all came from Benin, they all left Benin to their different places. The neighbors there, their language was, was interwoven. 
just like in the bank now, if you go to that area, you will see some speaking Bini and some speaking Igbo because very close to Agbo. Even the Agbo Obi do put on Kora beads. That is to show sign of a uh, Bini prince. Then the Kwere people, they equally the same, do robots. As soon as they left, maybe because of environmental degradation or in uh, during those, uh, those days, they move. By the time they go there, they will see other people bothering them, having a border with them. They speak different languages. But in all, if you look at it, almost the same. Just like uh, in Japan now, uh, most uh, the world, the new world, surface in Japan as well. I'm surprised. I'm still trying to do a research on that to see how come in Japan we have this. They have what they call a do in Japan. They have a lot of words uh, come from Japan, which we are using. This ukuye, which we call spoon, came mm. from uh, Portugal. Yeah, they call it ukuye. Yeah, Spanish call it ukuye. Most of the objects Portuguese. we have, they were not yeah. there when the new I mean, was created. So a lot of objects came in. It's just like car now. Wasn't there at that time. They have to find the name for them. So so, so that's what happened. The Kwere people have not denied it that they are not Benins. They said they originated from Benin. The robots Even some said, Igbo, some Igbos, if they want to be truthful to, from Masaba, to their father told them. Onisha, up to it's just like they only they want to be condemning everything. They know where they, they have They know they agree that they are from Benin. OK. Yes. They were communicating. All right, let me let me say something. You see, uh, my brother, um, I, I don't know your name. I think I believe it's in a Midwest. Eh? I, I yeah, have some Midwest Republic. yeah, but you see, uh, as a person like me who is also so much vested in history and knows quite a number of things, not all, not everything, I can tell you that, um. There's no doubt that the Benin, the ancient Benin Empire was one of the most um, influence, influential and significant empires those days, you know. So that one, nobody can take it away from the Benin Empire. But you see, I think where the mix-up and where the misunderstanding is coming from, for most of our people of these days, whether they are from Bini or from the South South, I mean, from the Delta, wherever, where the mix up is coming out from is that people have, uh, are not factoring in that there is, um, there's what is called an expansive empire. If you go to Russia today, <clears throat> you might think that every Russian is looking like uh, Putin and the people that uh, like, you know, this European, let's say white European. There are Russians that look exactly, their makeup is exactly like the Chinese. They are yeah. called, they are in the place called, they are, in the, they are actually in the coldest region of Russia. Russia is yeah. made up of, I think, about four or five major We are talking about Siberia. No, no, no. Si not, is not there's a region in Russia that look like Chinese. It's called yes, something. Yes. It's called something Vostok, something like that. Then mm. there are people that are in the border with, uh, very close to the border with uh, Mongolia. The people that are very close to the border with. Uh, so historically, what Russia is to those guys is a confederation name. So mostly the people that portray themselves or that stand for that identity. I'm using this uh, Russian analogy because I feel like that is the best way to explain where some of our people are confusing, uh, in my opinion, because uh, someone can also counter me. That is where most of our people are mixing it up. Now, when you go to Russia, let me assume, let me let me make let me uh, point it uh, or let me just make it like this: the the people from Western Russia. That are closer to Europe, the people now that are like uh, you know that have been the presidents of Russia. That in fact, the Russia we know are people that are like from Western Russia, where you have Moscow, Saint Petersburg, and all those places. The Slavic people, right? The people that are you know along those uh, uh, borders. Those are Ukrainian. They are Slavish. They are yeah, Ukrainian. That, also. That's why you see Putin saying things like, "We are all one people." 
So, but you see, Putin himself knows that he cannot, he said, if you go and listen to Putin's speech, he cannot even go as much as Vostok are Russians, he cannot go there and tell them that we are one people. So what he did is that he respected because what he knows that that was a Russian, it's called the Prussian Empire, right? So those are that's an empire that expanded by influence politically and just by adding territories. Now you yeah. when you add no just a minute, you you will uh, you will rebut me. I'm getting you. Me. I'm also yeah, learning. So when you add territories to your um to your to your to your original kingdom or your original country you can that is now a political uh, that's a geopolitical uh, um uh, how do you that's a geopolitical uh, um, uh, agreement or that's a geopolitical uh, you know establishment that does not mean that those people are they originate from you you understand my point? So this okay. is where the uh, hold on. I want to rebut you there. I just want to take I want us to take it step by step. Okay. You see, for a nation to grow, the early people, you don't expect big population. History book tells us that uh, we migrated from Egypt through Ife and through Nupe to the present place at, at Benin. And from there due to maybe illness or fa famine or famine i don't know how they pronounce that yeah uh, environmental yeah. degradation disease outbreak and all those may, may move and then we are talking about uh this time with the europe called uh, is uh they call it a uh, iron age at this point in time not the stone age you understand even the europeans um if you if you if you after this program just google what is Shedder Man? Shedder Man is a black man that migrated from maybe from Egypt to Europe 10,000 years ago, even 8,000 years before Jesus was born. They scattered around the whole place. When I was growing up, Benin used to be a very small place, but within the space of 50 years, you can see the expansion of Benin. Then, during those days, people moved. The robo agreed that they are from Benin. They migrated away. Up to Ghana, if you go to a place called the Ga people, they know they are from Benin. Republic of Benin, they are from Benin. Togo, they agreed. Anisha Ma went there to fight a war in Dahomey and later named that place Dahomey. Even in Lagos, Agege. All those, uh, these are all Benin names. Idumota is Benin name. They they knew these it. These are all Benin names. Agege. Uh, uh, Idumota is where people sit down and discuss issue. That's what it mean. Agege. Yeah. Oshodi. Oshodi. <laughs> these then, are not uh, Yoruba names. Epa, when, when point me, so my, let me tell you. Eh, continue, continue, was not part of, my brother, make I clarify. I know where you are trying to talk to. Now, in the history of an empire. <laughs> Okay, you can you can you can uh, say something, but I've not landed my point. Eh? Okay, but let me point something to you, like what you were saying that it's like the Benina expand to them. This is the narration of the Igbos, and no. I know maybe you are from Igbo also. Listen now, I want to clarify you. No, and also, bro, bro, no, no, listen, listen before brother. You continue, before you yeah. continue, please try to yeah. mellow down this. You know, you don't want to give the impression that there is yeah. an anti ebo rhetoric on your platform. You understand? See, so I love I love Igbo people. We do things together. But you the way the Breifers are listening, you know why the Breifers left their own history and concentrated about Benin? I said it before. When they go to a place, people will tell them we are Benin. But they are not satisfied. They well, feel when they... Brother, listen now. Brother, they feel when they contaminate... True. I want. You I will give you time. They feel when they... Feel you when you they Listen, listen. I want to point something to you. We don't have problem with people. I want to clarify you. When we got the independent, that's why all these tribe you mentioned before independent, all of them were kingdoms, and some of them can trace their kingdomship to 14th centuries with Benin. They all have a date. If you go to a car, you want to know their history. Go to the palace of Obi of Agbo. They will start teaching you how they were, how they were living. And how they were relating with Benin. 
14th century is not a joke. And I gave you an example now. It's just between one century now, the language the British brought to us has changed. And so many local languages dying because of that language that has changed. If, for example, we are not exposed, Pidgin English or Pidgin uh, people identity will not be majority in the South well, that, mean, that means so bro, that, that is to say that is why I told you all this language. Listen, all this language is not something you will use to trace the DNA of the people. But listening to what their own father told them, take it serious. Because those who came to colonize us, they came to fight the Benin. They did not come to come and fight Yoruba to create, to create Satan Nigeria. They did not leave Britain. There's never a time they command troops to say, we want to go and fight Igbo as a nation. They did not leave and say, I want to go and fight uh, Yoruba. They left Britain with command to go and fight Benin to be able to form the Satan Nigeria. History has to be taught our children. Okay. So you when, cannot be... When the yeah. Oni of Ife, yeah, when he came out, I don't know which year was that, recently, and said that uh, Benin Edo is, uh, is an expansive uh, part of the Yoruba race. Why was he not challenged by, let's say, the, the elders or the chiefs in Benin Kingdom? Or in Benin? Listen, if so, he makes so, such a... Li listen, when you go to where he make that statement, we don't insult king, we are Benin. I am a Benin person. I cannot come out and say... The West. No, no uh, 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 but, I'm, I'm but trying to tell you something. Now, you tell me, I don't know how you want to correct it. If you, you go to our ministry, like what bro. we are doing here now, am I might not wait, correcting it. Wait, I am wait. correcting it. Am I might not correcting it now to tell him that there is nothing like Yoruba. In 1940, they knew it that the language Yoruba speaking in Lagos today was not the language. In 1914, most of the areas, if you go to their chief, they will still tell you. We are from Benin. They knew it, like Ondo and so many areas. The chief in Lagos told them some years ago, because Lagos was not a colony, it was not part of Nigeria, a certain Nigeria, a, a Benin Republic or certain Nigeria Republic they gave to British in the in the Berlin, uh, Berlin Conference, because Lagos was already a colony. It was already called British West Africa Settlement. They have already conquered the land. They fought Benin, defeat Benin there. It is because of the resistance of the Benin they make Lagos capital for us, because there is nothing they can do. They have to divide it and shift the capital to somewhere. So, it was not easy so, for them. So, so what you are saying is that you are looking at this whole thing about or the concept of Benin uh, is not uh, you're not looking at it from a linguistic uh, point of view. It's more I look like at it. group of, you know, you, you just a minute. Sorry, you get my question. Yeah. So you're looking at it that the area or the people from that particular area. They, you know, they, they are not necessarily of the same language, so they, but they are all from the same kingdom. They are all the same, brother. Let me tell you, a kingdom that have lasted since 11th century, and they were able to keep their history in meta, in brass. Every bronze you see carry history. You want to tell me that those people were not sophisticated? They want to record something. They have an event. Sometimes they have war. Sometimes they have hunger. Sometimes they have disease breakout. Sometimes strangers just appear. They, they surprise. White man is just coming. They have to keep it in record. And they are all in metal and iron. So my, my brother, ancestors... So when you look at it, these same people... Madras, Madras Republic, one yeah. second. There's a okay. call coming in. In, 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 in the, the, don't go away. There's okay. a call coming in. Don't go. But you have missed the call. I will explain to you. How can uh, uh, like Benin now they are kingdom? They've had about uh, let, let's speak the cause then before I go on. I'll chip in my own uh, contribution. Hello, brother, Hello, go on, my brother. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, you have a very interesting uh, topic on your platform. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I don't know if you can give a second or a day to contribute. You have three, you have three minutes. Go ahead. All right. Thank you very much, brother. Uh, everybody, platform and everybody. Thank you. It's my great pleasure to be here to add my little opinion to what is going on here. Thank you. About our history, and uh, I would like to get my evil brother to understand this thing. I'm not annoyed, and uh, 
history needs to be taught but in the right way. Yeah. Let us remember the motto of uh, the state uh, in the construction of Nigeria, the heartbeat of the nation. That is the name I was given by the federal you know, uh, uh, government of Nigeria to the heartbeat of the nation. That is to tell you, without the Edo state, there is no Nigeria. Without the Edo state, there is no Wazobia. Uh, Edo people were cheated. Edo. So Ashik Wazobia, all the impacts that came from our our colonial masters, all the bad impacts, we the adults, we received it. No kingdom was in, you know was uh, invaded in that uh, contraction today called Nigeria except the adult kingdom. So that is to tell everybody what the Bini kingdom, the Bini kingdom. If anybody is struggling to have his or her own identity, please. Don't do that with violence. Come closely, and we are open to discuss or to tell you about our whole history. But me that is speaking from here now, I understand that the evils originated from the Ekas or the Bender evils. I understand that the present day evils originated from the Ekas, and the Ekas originated from the Edos. So, to crown it all, there is no kingdom in, it, in Nigeria today that can display an artifact that is older, more than a thousand years old, except the Benin Kingdom. And there is no kingdom in, it, in that contraction Nigeria today that can present a monarch that is more than 10,000 years old. So this discussion of a do kingdom here and there by different tribes in a negativity way, it hurts me. Thank you. Th 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 thank you, my brother. If my they bro don't desist from it, we are ending an era where that thing will cause crisis. We need to start following them up. If you can't live with us, you get out from our land. If you can't respect us. One, sec one, one, that one, one, one second. One uh, uh, second. Kola, wait, wait a minute. Kola, Kola, wait, wait one second. Governor Patrick is not forever. He, will go. To, he has come to show us something. Midwest Republic, I just want, I just, he uh, said, Yes, I'm here, I'm here. I love him, he's here, he's just, he's my man. Thank I will you not very go. much for coming. We, I welcome you again. Please, let me just chip in uh, what I know about all these things. If you trace back, I want to ask you a question. If you were to trace back about 600 years ago, how how would you put the population of uh, uh, Nigeria? Uh, you you mean in, in figures in terms of uh, how many or yeah the population yeah we have yeah about six hundred years ago I I can't, I don't know for sure but if I'm to very um, small to me to me I, I I would say we are just the people within the southern Nigeria I would say mm. there may be about. Uh, 600,000, not even one year. I mean, not even one million. Mm. 600 but, years ago. But, but before you continue, I just want to also point out, you see, I think like there's a little bit of mix-up. Some of there us... Is a, there's, a, there's a caller who tests me. It's from, a, it's from the Robos. I think he's yeah. an historian. He's going to speak to us now. Oh, he has yeah. a history as a hobby. Go ahead, my brother. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I understand see, there's a guy there when uh, they discuss some um, issue with what I would like you guys to do yeah. to please give the guy like one one month notice. Make this guy go to the Ikas and the Anambra. When when we're talking about the Anambra, let him go to the the palace of the Obi of um, uh, Anambra to verify where they came from. Yeah, and some easy and some easy to give him the rightful information. Those people will give him the rightful information that yes, they are from the Nike. If the OB of um, uh, Onisha can hold the bear and the other and uh, something made in Benin, what, what can you say? What else can anybody say? If you beat your family, can even come out and say that they are from Benin? What else can Ibo Manasi or argue? 
My brother, the Obi of the Obi of of Onisha did not say it's from Benin. Yeah, the, the the reason is I want to tell you the reason. The reason is that one, the one British of Midwest Republic. Okay. Uh, Kola, Kola, where are you? Where are you from? Uh, where are you from originally? I'm from Delta State. Urobo or Ishakiri? Hello. I'm from Delta State, from Sapele, but originally from Ika. Where, where uh, did your ancestors, did they tell you that uh, they are from Bini or what, where from? from? Bini. No, they don't, they don't argue. From Bini. And the robots that know their history, the, uh, I don't know if people have heard about the uh, uh, Okwe. Yes, Okwe. we had a question. Okwe is a Quickly. Okwe is a minority tribe in the robot speaking language. Yes. When the robots left Benin, when the robots left Benin, it was a prince of Benin that led them away from the then um, uh, old Benin. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the river went towards Abraka side. Yeah. After a long time of period, that prince became their king, died. And when he died, he refused to rule them. That is when the son now led another group inside the Urobo there to go towards Ororobe and form the Ukwe, Ukwe language. That's how you see today. The Ukwe only have only one king that supersedes the whole Ukwe. As I speak to you for over 500 years, up to now, King that supersede all of them because of that uh, mistake they make. If you go to Ogara now, they will say the Obi of Ogara. The Obi of Ogara cannot tell the Abraka people, cannot command the Abraka people because the Abraka people community they have Obi. They don't have one Samona that they, that they uh, abide to. But the Obi up to today, they still have one Mona. They are supersede the whole community, right from Sapple to Rurukwe. You understand? Thank you very much for your. <laughs> yeah, would they hear you? But your in, line is in breaking. CBD. In CBD, see, the <laughs> problem we have as a people is Nigeria. Midwest Republic. You know, let, when... let the CDD tell us. Let him let us. In CDD, go ahead. Let us tell us. You can you. continue. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like what I was saying, you see, uh, my brother. From everything we've been talking, if you notice my tonality and everybody that from the south is that I know, most of them are not talking about that they, that the that the Bini is from southeast. Most of the things I've been hearing is, uh, you know, the the Onicha, the Asaba. These people are from Benin, and I feel like that is where the conflict comes in. So, but I I, I don't feel it's right when we are saying that. Uh, and Igbo people are trying to claim Benin. No, it's the other way around. But you see, what I'm I, trying I to see the other way around. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. You you said here clearly that uh, the Obi of Onisha or the Obi of uh, Abo, all these people, or let's even go as far as Onisha. You're saying that he is, you know, and some easy <laughs> and some easy. No, we can't say that. You see, my brother, that's where the conflict comes in. I also do not support or align, you know, any. If there's any Igbo person, I've, I've not okay, had where, where, where do the Igbos come from now? No, let us not go to that. Let's really do it, rub mine together, and respect one another, and try to yes, educate that's, ourselves. That's, I love to, uh, CBD. I've been, I've been with him with one man show for so, so many times. Only now I don't have chance to come there. In CBD, oh, we, oh, the Benis, oh, oh. eh? I want to tell you one thing. The problem we have is that, and that is why the certain part of Nigeria why we are not united people are trying to say you south the south of nigeria only existed for 14 years but before then it existed with some part of north as benin so now the british who divide east and west knew very well what they were doing they were trying to conquer the original people bringing another language to them can you can, can you imagine you telling people to come and study yoruba language in benin and you don't want people to study the Benin language because they know the damages they have done. They want to erode the history to eliminate it completely. Perhaps these people will rise back tomorrow. 
and start making claim. The damage was so severe. Even the European Kingdom knew that there is a country called Benin, and we have an ambassador with them. So they knew, like the Portuguese. So all these things put together, make that place a powerful people. Like the way they are trying to narrate it, that the Oba of Benin came and come and kill the people, he do this, trying to rubbish my king. I tell you, if this one persists, it's not going to be good for every one of us. And we, we, we came to this topic because we see our governor is crossing a lot of red line because he doesn't understand the consequences of his action. And but it's many well, people, I, well, I, do, before, I would like you to what, even make, I don't I didn't get that part of uh, Obaseki, whatever he said. I wish you can just uh, let me know because I've been hearing people saying the governor said and said, and I don't know what. He no, said. he didn't. He didn't say anything. He's trying to do things that is contrary to the tradition that has been in the land since 11th century. An event that happened in 11th century settled in 11th century. Now we are in 2022. They are jumping in without really carefully weighing what it will cause in the land. Emotionally, how it's going to affect people, they don't care. Because why? They went to Babangida School of Curriculum, where you take knowledge, where you, you just teach people. That's all. And most of our people, if really they are intelligent, I keep telling them, how can somebody you say is not intelligent give you a constitution that cannot work and you start using it? You are a professor. You use it for many years until they come to you and collect it. Are you really intelligent? You cannot see future if you are an educated person. You see future. You see beyond what other people cannot see. And say, my people, I have to do this to save my people now. So let's put that aside. Now, All why right. am I saying this thing? We don't have problem with the Igbos. Since the civil war, in Simbidi, if you are from Igbo, tell me one case you have witnessed that is a crisis in Edo, between Edo and Igbo man. You go and present it. We welcome all people. We don't have problem. When we got independent, my ancestors, the Oba of Bini, of blessed memory, mobilized 12 tribes together, 12 kingdoms, create Midwest region. We were 12, we, the language has been so contaminated, polluted that sometimes because people will come here, meet together. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, Midwest Republic. Now, in the western part of Nigeria, all this problem you are seeing today started with the same place where they speak all the language Yoruba. You know what happened between Awolowa and Akitola led us to some That's of these right. things we are suffering today. That's now, right. they were the same tribe. Why are they behaving strangely? Because strange language was given to them. You go to Ghana, everybody speaks true. It was given, this is the method they were trying to do in the south part of Nigeria. So, if you go to Ghana, they speak one local language. Are they the same tribes? The British gave it to them. So, it all we had done to conquer the Benin. But what we are saying, we don't hate people. Respect us for whom we are. We can work together, come together and discuss. Twelve tribes put together in the Midwest, no quarry. In the Bende, do you see ethnic problem? It's because they are brothers. But, they but are connected someone, by blood. Uh, Language brother, is nothing. If, if someone asks you now that, okay, how is it that the Igbos... I leave, forget uh, apart from the some of the guys that maybe maybe one or two people that have said that uh, they are all uh, related in the south. But I'm telling you, how is the Igbos invading in your own understanding uh, Edo land or Igbo or, uh, or Benin land? I did, you, I, I did tell you Igbo are invading Benin, Benin land. Maybe no, no, but, but, but that's what is that's the impression people will get from what uh, they are listening to. They're talking. No, the listen. The, the impression is very clear. When I POB rise up, me that is speaking to you today, I convert Igbo people in Benin. Just the way you see, we are we are the one making a bit to shine. Go to our Benin platform. We are intelligent people, we believe in truth, and this is how we were raised, not by lying or trying to attack one another. When we see something good and we perceive it, we use all our emotion to support it, all our effort, and that's what we did for Baseki, and that is why we are in the total pain, particularly the diaspora majority of us i know everybody cannot be on the same lane now the same we when it came this wounded civilian you look at you go to uh new benin market where we have population of people to campaign that we have to get out but suddenly this they, we don't know where these things come from they started insulting their father and they at the same time trying to come to benin history how a car was from if you go to a car they tell you we are benin stop there after all, they have never existed with East. You don't even have history to prove it. No history. It is the, even when the British divide. I, I, I think that is where a lot of... That is where, that is where of, the problem comes from. 
they will go no, to no, a place they tell them they are Benin. They were not satisfied. All they could do is to come and be insulting no, their, no, their, their, their no, fathers in Benin. When you insult my king, you think you think I will do something with you? Bro, I, when I you go to internet, that, you see people with psychiatric psychiatric problem. They were not the one representing them. So this is where the whole problem started coming from. And we yeah. see their yeah. misinformation growing momentarily, and that is why we are here. We don't like it. It is no, anger. It's not correcting it. We don't like it. Just and when we voice our anger that we don't like something, people should listen. The, the and there is a need for it because once it is crisis, they will not. They will not believe what will be happening. And that is the truth. No, no, my brother. You see, the problem is this: when you when you start making those um, statements, they are not. They are not true. Is it somebody that went and met? Uh, you, you know, those are those are false narrative that we should not please, but you know, uh, push on public space that Igbos are going somewhere to tell them they are Igbos and they say no. I'm telling. Okay, so this man that came I out didn't the other say, day, Lucy, I oh, didn't say yeah. Igbos. You are using Brafa now to represent uh, what is it called? This IPOB to represent. This is the problem we have. Or can we separate this you group got, you from people? Me, you don't have problem. Finished, you've not even allowed me finish one statement. It's no, you, 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 you uh, try. Uh, I clarify uh, that. I talk about IPOB so that's you can continue. Me. I did say Ibo. Don't make that mistake. Okay. Like for example, this is go ahead. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just I mean, even if, I know there should be interjection, but at least let someone be able to learn his thoughts before there's an interjection. But you see, uh, what I'm trying to say is this: this, um, for example, this man that came out the other day that gave an interview on Arise News, Arise TV, who is a governor of Delta State, that used his mouth by his own self and said he's an evil man. There's no doubt about that. Go and listen to his interview. Is it an Igbo man that went and told him that you see, governor, come on, come and sit here and tell us that you are Igbo? No, so let see, us be. We let, can't let just me, push. Let me give, me, let me we, give him a rebuttal there. Presently, we, you can claim your identity to be Igbo, but I cannot. I, I just want to one minute. If you give me one minute, and I will. Okay, okay, no problem. The part no problem. Of the name, uh, history with uh, Igbos. You see, the Ishans, the Afema, the Onwa. Maybe there was a repressive uh, Oba king in Benin then who told them that uh, he has lost uh, his son. Everybody should uh, mourn the son. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Nobody should sleep with his uh, wife. There's no love making and no more, no cooking. No they eating of flesh meat. Protein. So it was very but tough. People could not cope with it. They left. I've just given you an instance how they left. Same with the Igbo. Especially those close to the river, uh, river line area, like uh, that Ikoba River. Some of them went through there. Uh, Saba so River. Present day, present day Potakot, Calabar, and all. Some of them went through uh, uh, Asaba, through the river there, Ikoba, there to, uh, to the Niger River, and they started living there. Maybe then we are saying now that place will be a thick forest with uh, monsters animals different ones dangerous ones so with time they started building it then it came to a time the Fulanis were fighting jihad war the Obar of Benin then then told them that don't come near us look when you get to a place that is a uh, those either area if you dig the ground and the ground came, and the soil came out red then know that this is a dull land. Do not cross there. And that is why the full energy had never got through to uh, a, a, a dull region. Out in the British camp. The British, but the out is most of them are Muslims now. I mean. Yeah, yeah because, we don't again, reject, we, because of we their don't border. Reject, we don't, we don't reject border. Muslims. We're talking about jihad border. here. Because of their border. Maybe they became Muslim after the fall of Benin Empire by the British. The British came into Nigeria, came into Benin about 130 years ago, not quite long. The and we Portuguese have developed were, a new language from their language. Imagine. The, the Portuguese were, were the first to come to Nigeria around 14th century. So you can see that from 1892 or 1897, the Benin don't even speak English. They didn't even know what uh, the British, uh, the agreement the British wrote for them. If we trace our history back again and check the population, then it will not be so many. One thing you need to know: 
Bini had it in, in, in their saying that no conquer state can speak their language. Anywhere they conquer, if you are not Bini, you are not allowed to speak it. If the, if they were they were, I mean, if the king then allowed the conquered state, conquered area to be speaking their language, you will find out that it would have been larger than the Yorubas. Hey, but the Yorubas were not large. It is the, the colonial era that large everybody, even the Igbos. And that is the problem they are still having with the entire when Eastern the, part when of the When the colonial, the colonial masters were living, they even Great Benin, they put it on that western region. Till today, some part of uh, those states in uh, uh, Afema, I mean, uh, in uh, Onwa, they speak Yoruba. They were mm. forced to speak the language. They were forced to speak the language. If otherwise, because they are under Western region, they will not get employment. They will not get elevated in their positions. And the people started speaking uh, Yoruba in Onwa area. This is how it happened. But, but you see, uh, uh, you have uh, your own. Your, your approach your approach now as much as i will uh, a lot of people from my side will not uh, you know agree with everything you said but at least <clears throat> your approach is a bit more on a, on a more logical side because uh when you say the some people crossed the river to go and settle somewhere those people will argue that no they are from that place you know but it's even a little bit more easy to listen to than to say that uh, those people, you know, like what my brother had uh, implied, that uh, those people came, the Igbos entirely came from the other side, from Ika, and they went to Igbo land. So, because even if you look at it geographically, in terms of uh, demography and population, it's not wait, possible. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have the Amadjoha, then the Yoruba have Sango. Did you try and read the history between the Amadjoha and the Sango? They are related, they are cousins. No, no, no. In my in fact, in my opinion, the yeah, let me tell, you, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. In my opinion, we are all we have something that is relatable. Because even one if second, you look at that, one second, it's easy that somebody is on the line to talk to you. Go ahead. If you look, okay. Okay, okay. why is from a letter or what? Or what a letter? That is a political move. Okoa make. Okoa is from Agbo. Or what? Or what a letter? Or what a letter? Or what a letter? Okay. What is Ifani? Ask the man talking to explain to me why is Ifani part of his name. Vote. Vote. Thank you very much. You hear that now, my brother? Okay, that's what I'm asking. If you're saying that the man have nothing to do with Igbo, then tell me why are the people in if not just him, both people from this area, why are they why are their names Igbo names? And why are, why is it that when they speak, I can understand what they are saying, even if we know that they are different dialects? Okay, I want, to ask, I want to ask in, you in, one in question. CBD. I want to ask you in one CBD. What is the you... meaning of Onisha? What is the meaning of Ayaba? <laughs> in Igbo language. Hey brother, you see, Onisha, you see all Onisha, these... All these... No, no, you see, all those ones, it's not... I told you that I know up to an extent. I don't know everything. So you see all those meaning of what you can even ask me what is the meaning of emo? I don't know myself, even if I'm partly from emo. But you see what I'm going to tell. Go, go and read what? your history. Where, just go, no. go where, read the history. You say Anabra, history of Anabra. Where do they originate from? You will find. My Anabra. brother, we, everybody see. knows. This. Everybody knows see, the story of Wait, everybody knows the story of Henry. I want Henry to tell you something. In Igbo land. We have our own history. We are approaching this thing. We are approaching all this now from you. Tell your us own. your whole history now. Tell we are us where you're approaching all this from your <laughs> from your tell narrative. You come from. No, you ECBD, see the see no, the when problem we have. You, when ECBD. You know that, sorry, just a minute. You know that in Igbo yeah. land, do you know how many dialects of Igbo that we have in Igbo land? It doesn't matter. So do you know that as am I right now? I'll understand an Ikwere more than an Abakaliki. So you need to understand that. 
if you look at it that way, you cannot approach it that way because of these people uh, are a bit different in the way they speak. Because as long as you, you can BD. hear, even in your land, they have the Egba, they have all these people. They have okay, you see, I want to ask you a question. If have BD today, general, listen, listen, BD, listen, we have the a general whole language. In CBD, in Bini today, close to Oba Palace, there are people who be uh, Kenichi. Close to the palace of their person, uh, Ukichuku. Does that mean the Benins are not original owners of their land? So you see, migration. It's not about, it's not about listen, the land. It's I'm not telling about you now, migration affects names. If you go to Asaba, you go to everywhere. After the civil war, the, the first place with the shock Igbo witness, the first place they could cross to in the name of Nigeria was the Bender people. We welcome them when they give birth, our own son, Bini, to welcome them. They will name Ikechuku. We start calling that child Ikechuku. And that's what you understand me that changed so many things. You no, I told no, you no, the no, language. No, no, no. It doesn't, it doesn't listen, make sense. it is migration. It is the, it the massive migration. Listen, it, it is the massive, that an massive migration. Name. Listen, I will allow you to talk. It is the massive migration that affected that area in terms of name. But the language, when you live with people for, for four years, you will speak their language perfectly. My, Most of us in brother, abroad here. You cannot say so the language Ibo is nothing. Man, you can't say an Igbo man will name a, 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 a Isoko man an Igbo name. No, it doesn't make sense now. It doesn't you as, a Igbo man, you as an Igbo man cannot do that. You don't have the hospitality we have. We were trying to the no, best no, we no, can no. You're, you're, you're to make your you're, people feel part of us. Listen now. If you go to your eastern part of Nigeria, how many people migrate there? You don't see people going there. Go to Bini. We grew up with all tribes. So we are different. You can't reason, we can't reason the same way. I told you your brother came out. The Bini are the one lifting him up. The are growing momentum. I don't know. I don't you know. See it this is we don't care about tribes. Don't we don't care. It is what you're doing here. The you're, tribe. You're, put, you're pushing a lot of, uh, you know, div divisive. I am trying to expand the scope, not in yeah. argument. Why it's those not, people get yeah, those names? Uh, Listen, uh, one you're, one to, you're, you're even going, you're even going to scare away the evil people that are patronizing, that are coming to listen to what you guys are doing. You don't need to. No, say you can't scare them away. Please, it's only when please. you hate truth. One, 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 one second, it's only when one, you hate truth. Second, you can go away. One second. When the Obara of the name visited Portacourt three years ago, the query people went to the airport to welcome me. They said they are from Benin. Even uh, 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 Wiki said it that he's from Benin. So I don't know what you are arguing here. You, you did not tell us your there is a, vi there is a video. There is a video of people anti uh, in the same equerry that you're talking about. There is a video. Well, maybe I'll look for that video and I'll send you. Where people, you? where people are protesting and telling Wiki that how can Wiki say that it's from Bini, that they are not from that is him that is from Bini. They are saying that it is him, that maybe he should okay. tell them how he came from Bini. Bini. Let us also so look at it. You need to understand way. that you cannot generalize these things for people. Go to Equilibrium today. I think we, I think we are... Let me ask you one question. When Dr. Udnwa has away, look at those were people who were close to the colonial master. They were close to the, colonial master. They were close to the event. He picked pen and paper, and wrote it clearly that they are from Benin. This is Dr. Onwanda Zikiwe. And wow, he put it in written. Listen now. You listen to me. Bring, now we are now 2022. Bring, 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 I will allow you to talk. Just let me bring, round up. No, if this you, book now is, not is a dismissive. We're not an Igbo man. Complete statement. Oh, it's okay. Where, where can we get we... the video? Where can we get the video? No, no. Even, even, even you now that is talking of, you have said it how many times Namdi Azikiwe said, bring the proof. Don't just make statements. That ah, it's a book. It's a book. It's a book. It's a book. And it's also in a video. I need the name of the book, so I will go and look for that book online right okay, now. I will make it. I will make it. I didn't oh, know you didn't see. Many book people have, have seen some, it. Maybe they have removed it. Can someone go go uh, 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 the origin of uh, Igbo people, please? No, we cannot go to Google. Igbo is older than the Google. This is a problem. Go to <laughs> we can't go. Bini is older than the Google. Because individuals, listen, in CBD, you can write something and put in Google. This is the problem we have with Google. So when the histories are not verified, people read wrong things. If, so I can write anything about Igbo and go and put there. So most of this tribe and ethnic nationalities and kingdom, we recognize Enwani, Ekwani, which is Igbo, in the Asaba region. 
we don't have problem with them. We all live side by side. So if they want to be calling themselves Igbo, we respect them. If somebody say I'm a cat, no, we say respect that, the person. Uh, Listen, when the person they say themselves. they are not calling themselves, that's what they are. They speak, I understand them, I speak, they understand me. So you can't say that. Are you going to tell me that this state that was divided among the, uh, you know, uh, uh, by this uh, by the then military uh, regime, are you going to say that all those states were justly uh, uh, divided? Is it not the same thing you're pushing that they shouldn't have divided Bender okay, State? Think, Gigi, tell, tell me, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit. You see, Bidi, we are no longer educating you people. You put everything in argument. Let me tell you something, and I will allow you to speak. If an Ishama said I am an Ishama, a Doma don't have problem with that. Just listen now. If a Roboma said I am a Roboma or Ishekiri, this identity has been in the Benin Empire for centuries upon centuries. And nobody disrespects them for whom they are. So we don't lay claim to people. We have never ruled Nigeria to influence people. Neither since the British came. Neither are we telling them because we give them more Nigeria money. That is why they are speaking. So, my dear, we don't hate Igbos. What no, I no, want to say, I have one question, just one question. Now, yeah. that, that you see now, can't you see that you're the British at... came to form the Benin Republic, not Igbo Republic? It is the resistance of my ancestors and the Calabari that make them to create East and West and bring Lagos, which is already their territory. To be part of nigeria so uh, you go to and make research you will now understand we went through language that you are talking and names the british Midwest, gave you Midwest, and my ancestors Midwest. simple and correct english Midwest. less Can't than one that less that. than hundred years you are speaking pidgin english and even some people because of pidgin english can no longer speak their mother dialect it's happening within the southern part of nigeria then you're talking about people when you mention oba then you go to 11th century do you know how many years is that then you are not telling me their language change, they bear this name, and they were all trading in palm. From there to Onicha, what we are also still trading with, is it not palm oil? And the Benin was the equator of the trade. So that is to say they were relating. There's a phone call. Hello, tell us your name and tell us where you're calling from. The sound is low. Calling from. Germany, okay, go ahead, talk, make your contribution. Said road, uh, yeah.
Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You heard that the line was it uh, uh, that audible? It was. Yeah, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't audible, but it got if some. If the caller is still there, I want to talk to the caller. But but Please. you see the, the sad Please. part. Now I want to talk to the caller. The caller call call should support Obi. Let him put tribal something aside. Let him put any motive aside. Thank Let him do what is right. And when he get to that place, is left for him because today. Why did this how many years now? I think he understands that his turn is coming to, to an end. So if he like he go there mm -hmm. and start doing things contrary that we explode the certain part of Nigeria. Look, certain Nigeria has never been existent. He only existed as been. He existed 14 years in the hands of British and it ends there. So anybody that says South, he want to create it forcefully like the way the British did it or whatever way is not going to work. It has been there. All this freedom started from eastern part of Nigeria. Declaration of country start from east, not from Igbo. Their own is the second one. The first one is the history make it clear. So they will learn from all. And if they think what is in our, on the ground is like vengeance or whatever in any way, they does we have done our own part. And we will still overcome it. Peter will be is a goal. Is the only man that I perceive that is going to change this narration. Nigeria is already everything has collapsed as far as the country is concerned. All this hatred. I be Igbo, I be this one, I be that one. Go to uh, Onicha today, you will see Igbo man Bini and they are eating. You come to Lagos, you can't see Yoruba, see this one. But yet, because nothing work, only tribalism, Wazobia have killed the country, people hate one another. So it's left for him to know where he's going. It's a complex task. We can't vote for all these old people who have destroyed our country. Or people who don't, don't reason beyond their nose. So he has called Igbo and I we continue to encourage many people to vote for him when he mm. comes to power and he doesn't know that the strength for him to govern also lie in that beneath that is supporting him and look for a proper way to navigate he will fail i'm just telling the truth no no so but, yeah, that is it. you're right my brother you're right and that is why i'm saying that as much as we are saying all these things the, the truth of the matter is this when people start that color i don't think i think it's a good thing his, his voice was not his voice was not that audible because uh, you cannot uh, just um you know try to to cause that kind of, you know yeah, that is that's something we're trying to move away from all these uh, uh, uh evil people, evil people that people in europe no we cannot continue like this but it was what made me came on here is because of I all, I'm always interested in history. I'm always interested in history and knowing how because if you ask me in my own opinion I feel like some of the challenges that some people are facing even some not everyone but some of our brothers and sisters from uh, maybe that are you know with the same viewpoint as Midwest uh, Republic uh, here is the some of the challenges that we are still looking at all these things from the lens of the ancient Benin Empire, you know the ancient Benin Empire, and that is, that is another call issue. for you. Another call oh. for you. Go ahead, call, call okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Okay. 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 Uh, my brother, the, my brother, my brother from my, my brother from my mother's side or from my father's side, the Boma, you know. No, no, I'm a man. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, listen to me and uh, listen to me and uh, listen carefully. You know, I would like to let you know one thing. I was born and brought up in Ibo, in Imo State. My father was a military man. I school there, I do everything there. Even my name, when my father got married to my mother, he had a fourth son. 
he doesn't stay. His second daughter doesn't stay. When the leader, when the leader give a belt to me, you know the name they give to me. My 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 mother is an my mother is an is an Ebeni man. My father is an Ebeni man. They give me Oyeku media, Oyeku media. But if both people don't want to come, they come Oyeku, Oyeku, Oyeku. Big book people let me come in that so that would be I would be trying to argue that is not my name. They cannot pronounce this way. They continue they continue to be calling me Oyego Oyego. I look at it, I can't I can't deny it. But when I want to write my name, my complete name, I write my full name there. You know, maybe by now I want to let you know one thing, my dear brother. Uh, according to what you were talking about, if you look at look at at least we believe we are sent a lot of people more than other states in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We don't we don't we don't criticize, we don't maybe you are my brother, you are not my brother. You understand? We we could Other give women to you to marry. You, sir? I said we give them women to marry. No, no, a lot of I know a lot of a now lot we now we give now we give women pass for Nigeria or now we uh, no DBC no DBC no now we start on now we bend them, then they marry each other before. Yes. I, I believe you. I'm, I'm, I'm an Edoma. I'm not a Nigerian. That is true. If ask, go to go to anywhere, ask anybody, then we tell you. Be, beneath people, we have an ambassador who was existing before Nigeria, the European, the, the, the colonial master called the British. before Berlin Conference in Portugal. Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese we ambassador. We are not going to make the Igbo or Yoruba or whatever anything at all. What we need, what we need is that whether you are Igbo, you are. Yoruba, you are in your answer. Once if you are the good one, let's bring the S together. Let's fix the problem we are facing today. Cause of brava, 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 everybody is it because the Nigeria was not it was not okay. The leader, the old cargoes, the whatever that belong to us, they, they, they take it by their side. Their children are enjoying the poor masses, they are dying. That is why you see that state of uh, brava, brava. If Nigeria is good, everybody is enjoying. Go to school, come out, they have a good job. I believe all those things will not happen. If we should continue to be saying, uh, Igbo, Igbo is that, Igbo is that. But the real fact is that we believe we will have. If that thing has left off for years back, we should compress together. Let's break our heads together because at least we need conquer a lot of places. They conquer a lot of places. That's right. When they when they conquer the place, they don't want to make the, want, they don't want to speak my language. They live there, they move there. I wish me the way they started from the, 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 the same theory. Maybe they conquer the place, they left somebody there. They, at least you could have been the majority of people in that Nigeria today. That's, See, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing. That's what I was you, saying, that you cannot use the lens of an emperor, of an empire that is expanding to group one people. Yes. I have to tell you, when you are saying the first people, the first people, the first people conquer, really conquer, is the Benin. Talk of that. The Benin Empire is not really easy to have that. It's something that happened. Before Nigeria, before Nigeria, before Nigeria was not existing on when Benin Empire came up. You should know that. Notice that for you. Notice that you think yourself, there, brother. We are not fighting. We are not trying to hurt you. The fact is that Igbo, I can't eat with Igbo, my Igbo man can't eat with me. I can do business with people, my man, my people can do business with me. It doesn't mean where you are Yoruba, you are answer, whatever. But as we know the good one, the, 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 the people that will tell us the truth, when we continue to be hard, you, uh, we are not from here, we are not from that, we are not from that. If we, most of part, most of part in Igbo land, named by the business. Yes. Most of part in Igbo land, named by the business. Oh, Nisa, I saw that. Listen, I have I have by just Bini. I have people don't say they come from Bini and are Bini world. You see, you're getting you're not seeing it. Thank you very much, my you're brother. Not, Midwest, you're not getting the direction this brother is coming from. Don't be saying they came from. Don't be saying they came from. When you're saying they came from, uh, it's it's okay. we should we should say we should stand by Obi. Bini people is campaigning for we are minority. We are minority, just one state. Look at the social media around. 
My brother, not be only this one, it start. It start even with IPOB when they started newly. Bini people were ready. And to even unite the southern part of Nigeria, the Bini is the key. Thank you, God. And and glory to God. Uh, 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 my brother, um, Midwest Republic, I just want to ask uh, is it the one question? You see, on another one, I never let me get my full thoughts, but no problem. You go your <laughs> talk. I want to ask you questions so that you okay, get okay. your full talk. Okay, no, I no. Up to present day, can you reach where you are now, Ibo land, without passing through Bini, or where did you pass into that uh, uh, Ibo area? Is it from is there any Atlantic Ocean there that you pass through? Is it not the same Bini land you passed to go and form that place? You were living in Bini before you went there. You started expanding from the Ghana <laughs> to those areas. Go ahead, talk your talk your history. Okay, no, no, no. You see, what I want just to be say, eh? you see, uh, my brother, it's just yeah. like uh, I, I like the angle the last caller came from. You see, some of us understand that, like I said the first time I came on this platform, I said, Bini Empire. Nobody can deny the influence of the ancient and the, you know, in fact, that's that that water side near Lagos and uh, Bayosa, that place was called the Bite of Benin. So you need to understand, everybody knows, say, from Benin Republic. Yeah, that area was called Bite of Benin. So that's the influence from, and that Bite of Benin, if you go and read the history, it is because of the empire. That was why, that's how they name everywhere. Even when you uh, go to the me, place, one second, one you, second. Uh, Monkey Face is online watching us. Is the one called Gri Gri? Yeah, yeah. Just, okay. just forget those people. Those are IPOB. No. They are a disgrace. We are money for. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You see, let us also try our best not to make it look like uh, you know a banter. But you see, what I'm yeah. trying to say is this: those people, every empire around the world, you need you take territories, you name everything. In fact, you can even decide to name the ocean after you we have the Indian Ocean today. So my point is this. See, uh, no, you see, let, let me clarify. Let me clarify you about history of Let Conway. me drop my point. You see, my okay. point so that at least even if you're clarifying me, yeah. you guess where I'm coming from. You yeah. see, you don't look at it from the direction because the problem that a lot of people are having, including some Yorubas, uh, having with the narrative of the Benin and uh, with the Igbos, some of us are having is you don't say people came from Benin. In every empire, empires send their emissaries, they send their representatives to go to those places. Once they know that they can compromise the security of those places, they take over that place. But you cannot, historically, it's just like right now, you go to Russia or you go to uh, the Soviet, people like Lithuania, Georgia, Ukraine that are no longer part of uh, the Soviet Union, you can't tell them that they are from Russia. They will, they will even beat you up, they will lock you, they can even, if they, in Ukraine now, if anybody that is pro-Russia, in a, in a, in a, that is not in a Russian region, they can kill that person. That's how yeah. serious it is, if you go and say that yeah. you are from, from, from Russia. So the fact that an empire once had dominion, you know, once, uh, uh, you know, conquered those territories does not mean that those people are origin, are, are, are natives of wherever okay. that empire came from. You okay. get my point. So listen, that's what listen, you listen to the, I want to clarify even, you about the word conquest even, that the people are saying here. Let me clarify you. To, even if you go to Abo or you go to Asaba and you see that Le the name listen, of the town, listen now. See, Benin the conquest, name. You can't say those yeah. people are from Benin. That's the point. Listen, you cannot, you can't, you, these are the narration of Igbo. I want to tell you clearly, I keep referring to it, particularly the IPOBs. These people who call themselves Benin, we are Benins, and I will tell you what the conquest means. Two things that make the Benin people to migrate, I want to tell you. First, there was a time of an anarchy in the palace of the Benin within the royal fire fathers. And the royal family, this crisis make a lot of them to migrate. And that was that the second one. But the first migration was well, the migration when one of the other, I can't remember precisely, lost one of his son. I think there was a disease breakout and all those kind of, you know, they go to rituals and well of traditional way of healing their own land. Every country have it in the ancient time. And they said, people should not eat meat. 
they should not sleep with their wife. A lot of decree was made by the Oba of them. And many people could not be able to bear that decree. They started living. Now, a time also came when this empire, when this uh, kingdom itself, eternally within the rulership, there was a crisis and people have to move. Those who are left with royalties. But the first people were the people of the town. And a time came that and another Oba also came. He wanted to form a country. He wanted to put everybody together. You understand me? And the Benin was so great. Even these places you are saying, they, come, they came to Benin to trade. All this palm oil that was produced, even in the eastern part of Nigeria, it is the Benin that was the center of the market. Go and search your history. The British were not there when we were trading with Portuguese. From a car, the era was an era to put your people together and they started living. And this is kingdom we are having their king. The Bini don't tell them how they should live. No, Oba or Bini don't tell Obi of Agbo. How you should govern Agbo people? It's a decree. The Nogi of East of Uromi control the people of Uromi. Even on Tindate, the, what is it called? Uh, the, 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 all this, look at history of Shekiria. When I kept telling you the southern part of Nigeria, Kalabari, the king of Shekiri were deported. Do you read it in your history? Are they Ibos? The king of the the the, the of uh, Ayana, uh, what is it called? The um, that is uh, Nana of Shekili and Jaja of Opobo. All of them were de deported from their land, like what also happened to my own king, because the life we are in this southern part of Nigeria. Or till they bring this king down, there's no way they can form Benin Republic. They came for. So I keep on referring to this. The reason is this: when you talk to people, they feel. Let me go and rubbish the kingdom by bringing history. The Oba was killing them. We don't have that in our history. When the British came, they meet autonomous kingdoms. Just the way you ask people in far away, they will tell you we are Benin. That is how those kings will tell them we are Benin. So it made them to wonder, who is this Benin? So it means they belong to an empire. It's not that we go and dictate for them how they should govern their people. It never happened. Or else there would have been war. They would have met people who were killing themselves. So, my dear brother, we are all one. But anybody who is trying to say he want to bring another people down for him to have his own selfish agenda, is only made in a mistake. Bini, I'm sure again, yes. that they are intelligent people. Exactly. They are people who are... Yeah, we have I, demonstrated I, it again. I, who I, we believe that Bini will be the first person to support Obi. Go to social media. We are still conversing our people. And many people right. are following now. You're right. Because you're right. that is the only hope. It's left for him whether he will be sensitive to the, you know, to some kind of issues that is on ground for many years. How he will be able to, without compromise sincerity, to start governing people, to listen to their heart. Then he will succeed. But if he's coming, he wants to come and having his uh, eating agenda, he may do it for eight years and eight years will go and you see things will change. The table but will turn. This is what happened when we got independent. But let me tell you this you're right about um you in fact i'm very like i was telling so there's another platform i was i was telling them how uh, because they are trying to create one narrative there that uh, 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 uh obi is only Igbo people so i was giving them example of the Edo, they don't know anything of the Edo people and people from other parts of the country so you know so that's just you know that's what detractors do because sometimes they try to uh you know they will just try to tribalize everything to see if they can slow down your support from other regions. But the truth of the matter is that with the Benin, like I said, I agree that every, all of us have you know things in common. Because at the end of the day, even if you go to look at Benin in Nigeria, we also have Benin Republic. I'm sure there's a connection somewhere. So for them to have the same uh, name of uh, of, 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 uh, that one, the Benin what? Republic was created no. by colonial masters, and our own is was created by my ancestors. Yeah, so yeah. there's so, a quite the two difference here. But, but what I'm saying is this: uh, you can't also tell me categorically, or you, if you're trying to be very honest, you can't tell me that even in the Edo. That's why. Okay, what's the what? Why why did they? Uh, 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 why when after the the separation of uh, the Benin and Delta, you know, that was the Vendel. Why did they not call the entire region Benin? They had to go to Edo because of the disgruntled, the disgruntlement of some people in the same Edo. So sometimes this whole thing, I think if Benin people also uh, uh, totally uh, unite as one and have one history, then 
it's easy to now say, okay, everybody in that CBD, No, I will correct you on that. A dough and data was separated on the behalf of the people of Bender. It was, that was when... Uh, no, see, Bender is so, listen, Delta. That is where Wazobia started. The evil occult Wazobia that have destroyed Stata Nigeria and make intellectual people to become like they don't reason beyond their nose. So the Edo, uh, it's only the Igbos tribes in Asaba. Some of them that were aware. Then they try to convince the rest people why they should be having a different view. The people of Bende always sit down. Or think they agree, they don't approach. And that's why they respect one another. They don't have single ethnic problem. So you have to recommend the kind of people who settle in that area first. It's because they have faculty to reason. People who speak the same language we are killing themselves over so many things. And not yeah, to, but, but we, can't, we don't we have can't, problem. We, you can't we are still trying now to say make... truth to this fact that look, a Yoruba man has ruled as a president, another one has ruled as a vice, and you said we are south, power must come to south. If, uh, where do you want the power to go? If you are a sincere person and you really want to speak truth, but because people have been consumed with that spirit of wasobia, they are the one actually killing Nigeria. They blame the Northerners for it when they gave Nigeria to them. Now, if no, OB is there, it's left for him to see our problem and look for a better way to tackle if he if he decides to go and tackle it in another way, whatever he will see, he will also take it. That is it. Oh, oh, Nigeria okay, will not end today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's I think my belief. We all, we, all, we all agree on the OB part, but there's this narrative that I want to I want you to uh, to, to speak on. This narrative, I don't know if it's subsisting or if it's something like maybe just at the subconscious of a lot of people that that have this uh, 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 this impression that there are some, um, you know, that they feel like maybe the Igbos, you know, there's this thing within that old Eastern region, there's this kind of subsisting narrative, which I don't totally believe is true, that uh, some Igbos are their main, you know, the Igbos are trying to dominate them or the Igbos are the ones that will, uh, you know, that dominating uh, narrative. What can you say about that? Do you think is a is a real thing? Do you think is a real thing among people in See, the, the old eastern uh, region? Yeah, I will tell you the fact. All this problem we are facing in the south. That's why we have deviated like to some extent from the from the real topic of today. But this because the topic is something that affects my own kingdom, and that is why you see my voice is very hard. Uh, when you see these so-called people we elected, they, when they get to power, they become stupid, power drunk. And that is the only thing. Somebody must occupy the power. And we have no choice. It's OB. What is killing us in the South is distrust between Igbo and these people. Or thing, one should uh, just come to, I just, that is just the truth. And that distrust is happening because of approach. You can't, I told you before, if a robo man said I'm a robo, I as a do, no, we are brother. But I will respect a robo. I can't go and tell him who is a robo. Or one way or the other, you robot, you don't know your history. All those kind of things. If a shaman said I'm an shaman, he's my brother. I'm an Edo person. I will respect Isham. There are kings there I have to respect. If a man said I'm an Agbo, I'm from a car, I will respect him, but we are still brothers as Benin. History make it and he will agree. But the problem is, when Igbo man come in, when you point to this, he will be trying to tell you it's like Igbo were or the original owner. And that is what the IPOB is trying to do that I don't like. That destroyed the whole group, self because he has lost his bearing. Supposed to be ruling the whole of eastern part of Nigeria today. So, because why? When you talk truth, people don't want to listen. So, no, I was this not actually it. referring, yeah. looking at it from so the modern... See, the that problem is, is, yeah, the problem is distrust. With the and tribes, it, you know. And, yeah, it's a distrust because, issue. Uh, and this yeah. distrust came as a result of colonization, as I told you. People were so deep and connected to their land before the white men came. Like me as a Benin. History, they don't want us to go back to know what we suffer as Benin to create this Nigeria. It was created on top of Benin to conquer Benin. It's no other thing. And erode their history. Erase it totally. So that people don't read about it. That is why they came and gave us a rebel language to be studying. Instead of our own dialect. After 14 yeah. years. You, so okay, you now know, when you look at it, the people in that core region, where the problem came from, they want to have their region just the way we we're trying to have our Midwest. But the support from the two side of the wasn't enough. So what I want to say, we are still brothers. If you go to that place, is Igbo man not living happily? 
But when you are no, trying no, to you see, I ask I ask this question because um personally I feel like that is also that uh, colonial divide and rule narrative that I don't yeah. believe that in any there's any truth to. Because if you want to go with facts, you cannot say that I remember during those time of uh, when the is it the Jaw Nation when they wanted to you know uh, succeed the entire uh, South South uh, minus Edo when they wanted to move out. It was the F.E. Kibibios and uh, even the Shekiris that went and met uh, Agunyi Rosi that no, that you know Agunyi Rosi was then the premier of the of the old East and then he said no the military uh, uh, he said, they said no that they don't want. Uh, that they can't be one. They are not speaking the same language. They are not one people. The, so you know when you when you will now look at it from that uh, direction, you, uh, uh, that uh, uh, direction, you will discover that this narrative of Igbo versus whatever is just a created, a formulated narrative. Because even right now in the present day, you know, let me not say it's here, but we know what is happening between you know the ideolo ideological war and even physical okay. confrontation between the. Shakiris and the Jaws. So we cannot see, look at it. See, so the, yeah, point, the, the point of the matter is just for everybody to respect each other and agree, you know, ag agree to work together and also respect each other's identity. That's yeah, how I look that at the whole That thing. is what I'm saying. I refer to distrust as the real problem. Otinigbo accept that a uh, fact that this distrust is a big problem. But you keep saying, you see, I, the fact that you keep saying Igbo, it means that there's still that subsisting. Yeah, let me tell you why I said Igbo. Where I said, why I said, why I said Igbo. Those people will tell you, I don't want, but they allow you to come. You can talk with them. They allow you to settle with them. They don't disturb you. Sorry, I use that word Igbo. I let me use IPOB for example, because most of these things we are no longer there the way it is today. So when the people speak little, you try to talk to them in a way that you even confuse them more. And then that makes them to feel like, oh, these people are bad. I have a lot of Igbo friends, but it's very unfortunate that this IPOB is trying to use uh, their own name to represent Igbo, which is very bad. They have missed many steps because they were not truthful to what we, they were doing. Everybody knows that. And that is why they leave quality people in every other tribe that surround Igbo and be following nuisance. People who have psychiatric uh, uh, document with them, like one guy that was in this program before that this APA just mentioned. They deviated everybody from it. Like what I'm trying to say, we one way or the other, the enemy that came, they have destabilized us. But then we start saying truth to one another. There is no way we can fix ourselves. And there's no way we can fix that those damages. So until we realize that truth is not in the certain part of Nigeria. And that is why Fulani is using us. It's not because we are not powerful. Someone has produced, a region has produced a president, they have produced a vice. Why should there somebody be contesting from there? And you say you want to unite South. Then you would have all your meeting, only West, West, and forget it, but don't call the Igbo in. Now you have somebody from the East, they're never tested apart from Agui Ronsi. Let's give them a chance. And in the process, there will be some sort of arrangement. People who are matured, we see problem before it happens. The problem we have, as you said, the joint security today, before the oil spillage, Ijo occupied a lot only water, water, very deep, deep waters. But because of the oil spillage, they have also occupied land of recently 80s to now. And the Shekiri occupied both land and water before. The Robo the same. Look at Bini. You only create Edo State. The Edo people were not there. You did not gather the map. Territories, village map, you don't have. In the east, is the same thing. And population is growing. Where population grow to? some level, there will be competition for space and that will lead to violence. It's, it's, it's a volatile situation. Any leader that doesn't want to see this problem on time, you will see it, lovely EDG people who marry together, start killing themselves over land because they, they, nothing is working in the country. It's a useless land, no, no foundation. So my dear brother, to solve this problem, this distrust can only be addressed when we start saying truth to reality. It is time exactly. we join hands together Support an Igbo man to president, and even in the process of supporting him, he should understand and mingle with people who understand this problem seriously. Because any single step you make, this destroy that is there, far away people will come and exploit it and destroy your administration. Let me you ask you something, brother. Yeah, brother, you see, do you look at the way the political terrain is right now in Nigeria? Do you be, do you, don't you think, or do you think 
that uh, uh, <clears throat> this uh, uh, Tinubu and this APC guys, don't you think the APC or Tinubu as their leader, you know, he has broadly accepted that he's the one, uh, you know, putting people in, play, in, in, in a position of power. So don't you think that these people having been, having, as much as it's from the South, is also kind of working, I don't know if it's uh, directly or indirectly, against the interest of the South or against the unity. Let me use the word unity, the unity See. of the South. Because you can say yeah. it's the interest of the South, but not the unity of the South. Don't okay. you think so? See. Because if this, if this, if uh, Tinobu had put his weight behind, uh, uh, you know, let's say as the way a lot of people believe that the next uh, president should come from the Southeast or from the, you know, an Igbo, whatever, even if he's an Igbo man from the South South, you know, if he had put his weight beyond that, behind that person, don't you think that right now that person will be the frontline candidate? You know. The thing is, as I told you, we are not born to be greedy. And that greediness is not benefiting any one of us in the South, only the Northern people. And because of that, let me relate to the topic we are having. The governor of my state is acting out of... ...for the interest of Edo people that brought him to power. So you can see the way greed dominates most of these people. You have it in your Igbos. You have it in Bini. You have it in Yoruba. You have it in everywhere. My prayer is for Wike to see Obi and switch. We need a voice like that behind Obi. Because the way it is, this is the greatest battle in the history of political system in Nigeria that is going to happen next year. Obi will continue to grow. And most of this party you see, they are already collapsing. They said they have structure. Many people. But you know, but you know, they, know they already, you know, they already had a meeting uh, weekend. And they yeah, and that is what I'm praying for. That everything I seal. We need a voice that will be so strong and powerful in behind Obi that when we cast our vote and people try to steal it, somebody will tell them, "Okay, enough is enough. We want that strong person." And I pray for that strong person, that voice God will give it behind Obi, even when he's not ready. When he hear that voice, we'll be ready to claim what belongs to him. So that is the only thing that is left. They are going nowhere. Now, they have collapsed all structure. What, what will Tinubu offer in a situation like this? They, they can't do business the way it used to be. Obedience is moving. And no one can stop it. It's just left for him also that people are campaigning for to see this problem the way it is. This is not even a time of, I want to come and develop I want to bring, first of all, you must go to this constitution that was imposed upon people. We Nigerians. How many Nigerians were there? So you must look at things, how you will govern us that will benefit North, South, East, West, as a Nigerian. And the only way to do that is for him to see the, the root of the problem. And if he's able to see it, he will succeed. But if he decides to come, I have a different agenda. I want to do this for, for his, his left for him. But I will tell you the way but, it but is. You know, but you know, if he does not portray himself the way he's doing right now that he wouldn't have even gained this appeal from a lot of people. Because that's yes, the same yes. thing that a lot of people who accuse that worked against uh, Wiki. You know, because uh, he, as yeah, that is, that, the, politics, he, the politics of that has gone now. Wiki have realized that his, own, his, his, his soul as an, a certain person is with his people. And his mind is, is in the mind of his people. And we in the South, the only problem we have is distrust. I know they will do their best as much as possible to continue to destabilize us. But if he move to Obi, that will give us more hope. But however, if he choose not to come, Obi is already growing. But I love wicked voice. If he cannot, if we cannot get that voice, we get it from another people, I will be happy. Another giant politician. So that we will be ready to confront this tsunami. Everybody in Nigeria is suffering. The poverty, the, the tribe now is the tribe of uh, of a, uh, of elites of political elites who, who have created work for themselves the rest people whether you be outside you be full and you be everywhere poverty everywhere so we need to come together and think of what to do can i can i ask one question please now that you come with uh this picture will be something you change the story now uh the question i want to ask i like peter will be the problem is just that uh I don't want to waste uh, any more time and energy 
because they talk about uh, Sowore in the past, in the last eight, eight years or six years ago. Uh, I see Peter Obi without structure, and uh, it will be difficult for Peter Obi to win. I have a video coming very soon, maybe today or tomorrow morning, or tomorrow same time, so that we can try this matter out. I believe with what I'm hearing about Peter Obi or what I read about Peter Obi is that uh, he will be better off as economic uh, minister for Nigeria because he always talk about costing, cutting costs and uh, Peter Obi do not even have uh, the structure in the north to win Nigeria presidency. Maybe 2027 or 2031, he may be right. But by then, the people again, the same followers will come around again and tell all of us that uh, he's too old. He's one of them. That's what happened with uh, Sowore. Can you just throw some more light on that, please? I would like a CBD to also but, say something about Yeah, but, but you see, the thing about, uh, if you ask me, I think for, let me start from where you, the last point you made. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, so Kunda here. Okunda came. Okunda came. I don't know where he is. He's. Uh, he's. I think you need to add him to the stream. Uh, I've added him and yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't add you. I'm backstage. Excuse. Yeah. He's Sorry about that. Okunda is here now. He maybe he's listening to our question. Man, let uh, this man just run answer your question. Right? So that you see, you answer the question. Do you think yes. that Peter Obi will win? Yeah. You see. Yeah. Uh, like you, you need to understand the dynamics of the politics right now. People keep saying this thing about structure, and uh, you know, uh, if you're looking at it from the historical way in Nigeria do election, or the traditional way in the last uh, let's say 20 years or so, then yeah, it uh, there's they have a point. But you need to understand that everything has an end, and change is inevitable in this life. And also, you need to look at it in this way that. Uh, the structure, number one, that people don't understand is the people. And one of the reasons why Peter Obi has gotten to this point where he has got to right now, people need to understand this and also uh, uh, realize that it's not about the, 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 the only reason why he has got to where he is right now is because of people are tired and people are, are, are conscious, they are more aware of what is happening. Peter Obi did not has not done, he has not done too much for him to get to where he is right now. He just came at the time when people are totally tired. In fact, people are feeling like uh, they are, they are, they are, they are, in fact, they feel like they are even in an existential crisis. People are, people are feeling like they minute. don't have. That, that, that brings me to a second question. Peter Obi, so, okay. with the four days ago election in, uh, in, uh, Ekiti. I've went there to do appraiser, Ames revisited, and I found out that uh, all the youths, because uh, Ekiti is one of the most educated states in, in that country, in Nigeria, yeah. Yeah. a lot of them are very educated. So with that, I cannot take them out that they are not social media, uh, they don't have the awareness, they do. But on that day, on that election day, it is the poor youth who gave money out, who collected money. One reason is maybe their poverty, and the, all the political party that participated in that election all paid money, all bought votes, including labor, but the highest bidder took it. So mm. I have the fear that. Uh, what happened in the kitty will repeat itself mm. in 2023. No, okay, no, but you see, you, sorry, back. sorry, let me just say before you come in, my brother, just one, just, I'll be very fast. You see, yeah. the thing about this kitty and all that, we need to understand that Peter will be, let us not get it twisted. Peter will be, is not riding the same wave or is not representing the same thing as these other politicians for now. At least anyone that is outside Showery and uh, maybe Morgan, and those people are not even looking like they're in play right now, especially Morgan Lou is definitely not in play. But you see, someone like uh, Peter Obi and these other politicians, 
anybody that is supporting Peter will be right now. Or let me say most of his supporters right now are conscious supporters. These are not supporters that uh, uh, that, that needs motivation financially. You see that they are even bringing out their own their own resources. So the thing is that those politicians in AKT, those are traditional politicians, whether they are APC or PDP or whatever. So those youths can choose any of them without feeling guilty. Because at the end of the day, these are traditional politicians. I, I don't know if there's any, I don't, I don't know of any man in, 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 in AKT, any of those uh, uh, governorship, those guys are contested. I don't know of any of them that, uh, 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 that had some unique transformative uh, or a movement like Peter Obi. There, there's none. So we, we can't look at it the same way. We can't use the same lens to look at it because if you're looking at it that way, then we are not factoring in the movement that is behind Peter Obi. Peter Obi is not just a politician that is coming out like other politicians. It's a movement that is resonating the, you know, the, the mind and, you know, where the people are, where most of the, the, the masses are. So people that are supporting Peter will vote consciously. And I know there are other people that need to be convinced. I know there are other people that you need to preach to before they know. But you need to understand that the core base and the main supporters of Peter Obi are people that are conscious. They know that there's money involved before they say no, that we want Peter Obi. And that's the reason why he is where he is right now, because of the, the consciousness behind his supporters. You know, so we don't look at it from the same uh, uh, angle. Okay. So, that's it. You can go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah. If, if uh, the question, sorry, 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 that bring me to the next question. Uh, do you think that uh, Peter B is popular in the north? Yes, very well. He's growing momentum. He's not a threat. He's well, yeah. very well. He's popular. Yeah. I can tell you. I can I can categorically tell you that at least Kanu have labor that is growing well now. Then Paper. So Sokoto Abuja. Let you, let you call that talk, please. Sokoto Abuja Kanu. Uh, it is only Zampara that is not too much. Then um, the middle the middle bed the middle bed are well. Apart from only this uh, Professor Zulu place, that is only where it's not much now. The reason part, that is why when you talk of equity, I'm going to tell you the difference between equity and entire Nigeria. Equity, the two people that we are contesting, or five people that we are contesting, all of them are from equity. So first, family, family we play there. Friends we play. Then, um, their religion we play that is for that equity own because it is one house i know you you know me but this one president's position is different from a state why is it that now your line is bad I mean, na ekiti line be that. Na ekiti. So yeah, I don't know if he's coming on, but uh, it's an abra like go ahead talk as you explain to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I was trying to point to us, you know, the thing is that we need to understand that the you know this movement is uh, is not the traditional movement. In fact, for Peter Obi's campaign to have gotten to where it is right now we need to understand that before other politicians get to half of where he is right now they would have spent they would have spent so much more they would have spent like 10 times what he has spent right now so we, we, we should not forget the fact that the only thing that has made it valid that has made this movement what it is is the consciousness behind the movement and that's where we keep on missing the point when people start talking about a uh, 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 structure and the traditional way of doing politics in Nigeria. If that was valid, Peter Obi will be nowhere because the man refused to spend money. 
So let us not underrate our own self. We are the move. The movement is is the people. The structure is the people. It's not just. It's not about Peter Obi. Like okay, Peter Obi is the face of uh, all this. See, my brother, the structure they are talking about is just money. About PC and PDP. There's nothing on ground. They are so divided. At those days, PDP is in trouble. Now even data state there, picking the second mile, a lot of people are not happy the way it was done, down to south south. So even the APC themselves, they have a lot of eternal challenges and quarrels among them. It's only P uh, Labour Party that is moving. And exactly. the reason is so simple. There is no difference between the past election in those states and the one that is going on today. People are not determined. Why do you think people are queuing for, for PVC? They are queuing because now everybody said, Buari have opened our eyes that look, the youth should get up and change this country. And really people are following the train. And the only man that is viable for it is Peter Obi. He has been tested. Why also Ure cannot go? Also Ure should go and test his popularity with his people in his state. Let yeah, them exactly. let him test. So that he yeah. can try whether he will be able to manage the place and there will be surplus. A man came to his state. He made deficit, debt upon the life of his people. He cleared it. He did a lot of job and he gave them surplus. Economically is what is making us. Why am I in abroad? Is it not because I'm, I'm an economic refugee? If my country is economically good, I will go back home. So most of Nigeria you see living the country are living because of econ economy issue. So people are saying, no, it, it should be good as a prime minister. Ugozi Awala came, somebody that is managing, that has managed World Bank for years, came to help Jonathan because she was not holding the real mantle. What happened? She failed miserably. That is one of the worst administration you can ever talk of. But nevertheless, the world, the international community, recognize the strength in her. Even when superpower opposed her not to be the leader of World Trade Organization, the Europeans said, no, we can't lose this woman. She must go there. And they are benefiting. It is we. Nigeria don't have structure. Nigeria don't have structure. She want, economists for who? For, for, for Tinibu? Is she going to be economy minister for Tinibu? You think that also, she will, he, he will achieve anything? Exactly. That's what I wanted he to will say. Be, be an economy minister for Atiku, how will he achieve anything? My brother, let's just put that one aside. Let's campaign for him. He is the only hope. My only worries is that he should see the problem, foundational problem the certain people are having, so that this distrust among us, he will be able to set up a kind of a, 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 a direction to address it, and everybody will live peacefully. Even though the, if Nigeria doesn't exist anymore or is still in existence, we will live as a country, prosperous country. Everybody is fighting one another. Is it not because of pain, huh? hunger, lack of history, lack of knowledge, and only greed? Can you imagine you give money to a state government? They don't, they don't even account. Is that how to run a country? And they, after misusing everything, either they blame the past govern, the government, they will come and blame their king, like what we are saying in my state. You don't, you don't give them money. The, the fact is very clear. Okay, now you come and bl blame uh, the youth. Man, what happened to them? I can't to them. What you are doing with them? Just a last question before we close. Eh? Do you think Peter Obi will have uh, money to provide to make Nigeria to buy or some builders in their space? I don't understand. No. If, if, what's your question? Money. It will not have that said, kind of. Do you think Peter will be if by, if God willing? He becomes the president of Nigeria. Do you think he will get the money there to uh, to build a house in space? Or uh, if the money is there, you think the press uh, the current president is just selfish? There is no money there. The money is there. But, uh, money is sorry, 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 I haven't finished you. I don't want to leak out more information on this uh, video. I will be doing a video shortly after 8 30 when Nigeria was finished. It's on yeah, video today. I want to come out with a video. The reason why I think we just uh, most of the supporters are just living in a cool, cool land, and that is not something that is not go is going to be feasible because hmm. uh, the money is not there to check Nigeria. I beg. Now we Nigeria. put on Baseki for power. I know say I do person. Now the people of Grand they have woken up. Just forget about those money campaigns. They are not if in I'm the here, If I'm here, Tinubu want to give me money 
he want to give my people money Midwest, i will tell them collect Midwest it public Midwest republic you are not a politician Politi governors of a state of state control the vote they own all the voters none of them would like to lose I don't own all the no 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 but not for you PDP was not PDP was not in charge of a door when they won as I speak to you all those wiki and Peter B meeting they just fake news I mean what would be the benefit? No, no, no. The, the, the picture they there, I don't I've seen the I've seen the paper, even though even though, it is, even though if it is even though if it is fake news, <laughs> we uh, uh we can have learned a very terrible lesson, and I believe is a strong man that believes also in truth who said the way it is. If it's with it that will be it will be useful. That? Are you saying but even though if he decide and, uh, if he decide to remain in pdp just say it how it is is rather useless now they don't believe in that so it's left for him to protect his reputation by crossing to labor party exactly. if he refused no, there's nothing wrong what, what will we still can pay for peter Obi. What, that is all what, i know what will he be expecting if you come to labor party to they will talk president. it i can't i can't speculate that no I, can, no I can't speculate that he will they they will arrange that on their own they are they are uh, politicians my brother, yeah, I don't I have, have this. I have a video coming. I don't want to. Epa, Epa, Epa. I don't advise. I don't advise people that. Uh, uh, I don't advise people crossing from party to party, like like uh, this. Our brother who said they are PDP. Since he had never become for PDP, he really shows he's a PDP man. He's supposed to hold his party where and not find. Uh, and, I've had, and I have a core class to trim all those bad, bad branches that make PDP not to function well. That is how a good, that is why the other day I said, so Wore will have think a new strategy to improve his party, not condemning people. What a part, what a good people do. If your party, you are among those who are below in it, find a way to trim bad, bad things out of that party that will enable that party to become good. Now, Wiki is doing well in some parts. I'm not the not because he's used our money to go and be bribing outside people, bribing people to vote for him. No. But if he's doing well according to the way he's developing his people state. So that is the best thing a person, a party man to do when you are in the party. Work even though your party did not permit you, try and do your best. With that, it will be promoting you in that party. When you get to some state, you cannot be able to strengthen that party and say, this one is not good, this one is not good. But by the time you decide to leave that party, then people will really know that that party is dead because if it is good party, good people will have not leave. Like our brother now, Peter Obi, he's just searching for a party that will enable him to show his character. That is what he did in, in Asga. Afga, they're giving that chance a little, which uh, he performed, but because of the people who really occupy that position of Aga, they've not given the make space. And he see that if he remains that Aga, he cannot really spread well. That is why he decamped, that is why he decamped to PDP. PDP have suggested him to become not no. But because of grace of God, who know that want to deliver the Nigerians people from the hands of these two oppression oppressors. So that was why he bring Peter out and put him in a labor. And really, if labor people know themselves, labor party is supposed to be the party that will have been presidenting the Nigeria continuously. Because they are the one to fix things where they are the one to know how workers are supposed to live. But because the people who occupy the, uh, the labors, they don't even know their duty. It's just like all these our professor who don't even go to school, but they call themselves professor because they can speak grammar. So now, God has bring Peter will be there. But if we can want to work with Peter B, because if PDP doesn't say it, you know, work for Peter, work with Peter B. No, it doesn't matter because you are this party. You can go and vote another person. It doesn't matter. You must vote your party person. It's not, it doesn't really matter. Then what matter to me is that. When the pastor said they don't have structure, they don't have structure. There was one northern, uh, northern person now who 
who are promoting Peter Obi. Then telephone started calling him and threatening to kill him. If he does, if he doesn't have social, why are they threatening people? Then they call the guy. They still call the guy wife. That is where fear now enter the guy body. The person now the, no, the same number now call his wife. Then how did the person get his wife number? So if the movement, if the Peter will be movement is not, then why are they threatening people to kill them? Then that is for that. Peter uh, will also, be... also listen to the statement of a uh, those state governor yesterday. Yes, okay. okay. He said ask people now like, of the obedient. If you ask them, he know, the, he know the strength of what is building. He know what is going on. He has witnessing for his own self. Anybody so that is on the money, Peter will be now. Is just joking. We have so, that level. So, Epa, when people say there is no structure, Mr. we Kunda, are... Mr. Kunda, Mr. Kunda, Mr. Kunda, one second. I'm going to play one video for you. Uh, but these are videos that I'll be marked for my next video. Just uh, watch. Listen. Of you following will be foolishly. Because we told you people that this man is not ready for the... He is not contesting any election. And you were part of the Biafra movement. You hear Obi? Oh. Uh, wait, 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 These people are useless wait. people. When we <laughs> just remove this one. Wait, uh, wait. This, uh, wait. It's like a football team. We are playing division three. <laughs> so they are not in division three. They are PDP is playing division one. So you can understand that Obi have already told you that he is not contesting to win presidential election. Because Presidential election belongs to Division 1 team. Those who play in Division 1. Obi is telling you now that their Labour Party is playing Division 3. <laughs> so, and it is step by step. We do not know whether before the 2023, they are going to upgrade to Division 2, before they can now go to Division 1. Yeah. Hear it yourself. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Obi don't wait. have no structure in the northern Nigeria, and they deceive you. Wait. Yes, the northern has to start somewhere. The relation has to start. I go there. Uh, I also want to ask the question about the north. But yeah, I want to answer it. Okay. Okay. No, go ahead. Answer it. Then is I'm it? Those who are saying that. The noise is about the south, it's about the north, you know. It has to start, the noise has to start somewhere. Okay. The regulation has to start somewhere. <laughs> okay. We find nobody's recognized from everywhere at once. Whether it starts, those who play football that will celebrate, they start with a club somewhere. Okay. They start with street football. All right. They play for Division 3, Division 1, Division 2. The same thing. Is what happens everywhere. All right. When a star is rising, it starts from somewhere. When you get, when the moon is coming, it starts yes. from somewhere. Everything starts from somewhere. <laughs> it will not be a universal thing. All so right. If it will be, is known as celebrated in the south. Okay. The people in the south, and I'm young, the young one. To tell their colleagues in the north. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Man, we can solve this problem. <laughs> okay. We can do this or can do this. He is not advising you today that those of you in the in the south can now contact your friends in the north. He's <laughs> 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 not advising you that some of you, the Biafras, that have one leg in Biafra struggle and allow people to, to deceive you and distract you, you can now begin to contact your friends in the north so that you can tell them about P2B. <laughs> that is the structure of P2B. They have no single structure in the north. And for that reason, I am going to bring it to the screen. One moment. I want to hey, hey, no. I don't know, know why Pa is playing it. I don't know what you want hey, to do. <laughs> If I would not stay here, where well, now maybe we'll talk some people for the one we don't hear. Another day you play it. Okay, next video you will watch it. Uh, let's comment about the little we have had. I thank you. I thank God that Samuel Ekba is the one that uh, is talking now as an IPOB. This yeah. IPOB. This IPOB, I believe maybe the people that started, they were, they were no more than 30. So, but today, 
they are up to about 500. More than. Now, uh -huh. so now, if, if uh, Peter will be, when uh, this guy, we are interviewing him, because I watched the interview myself, he said, something must start from somewhere. At Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean that uh, covered the whole world. It starts from somewhere. The anything okay. must start from somewhere. Then from there, it starts spreading. So for those who thought the thing we are for the south, uh, for the south, he, he have gone to the east, he have gone to the west, he have entered the middle of it. Sir, have you not watched two pastors from the north who have said Our they have pastors been... are joining the queue? Let me tell and, you, and, and, and nothing it's gone can to stop the, it's this gone to the west. And uh, three days ago, yes. they took number four or five in a kitchen. No, this thing where a part, it is a part, they did not took number four. No, I let me, that is why uh, if not in my internet that goes the way. That was what I was clearing before. They did not took number four because the west, the people that contest in west are the westerners. It is the Yoruba Yoruba that contest against themselves. So another people we are not interested. No, 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 you, no, you, no, you to make it. No, they, don't use, they don't use. Uh, they don't use internet. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they. Maybe they, they don't have. have Epa. 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 Yeah. Epa, why don't look at it from where my brother is talking? Where we hey, look up from that side. Uh, Epa, let me tell you. It's, it's Epa, let me tell you the difference. I, I don't the want difference. to waste time again. I don't no, you will not waste time. time. We will not waste time. You will not ask questions. Let me just explain it. You know, you don't even need to ask questions on it. You're you not supposed to even play this one if you don't want to waste time. These but are IPOB oh, people. They, so they stay in Finland and they tell people go and kill. We are giving you briefer next year. We are giving you briefer next month. They said this. Where the briefer? The reason you understand, Edo people said Edo is not Lagos. So Edo was not really Lagos. Tinibu come and influence. You hear Tinibu say he was the one that put this one into governor, into this governor in a different talk, state. Oh, forget about Tinubu, talk about no, that. that is the reason is is in the Kiti. Land. It's from South the, reason you see, the reason you see a Kitty, and this is what I'm telling you now. A person in Lagos says said he was the one that put in governor into a Kitty, putting in no do putting because they are just one family, they speak one language, they, all of them understand once this thing. So they face the the light and face one direction. But this one is where some people will lie down and face this side. The other one will lie down and face this side. They will not Thank lie you. down. This that is this one that is Southeast people. That is people from voters from Southeast. Is that what you are talking no. about? No, no. This uh, the Peter whole Obi, Nigeria. The whole Nigeria is the one struggling for Peter Obi. Oh, it's not only one family. Ekiti O is one family. That is only in Europe. The whole, Nigeria, the whole Nigeria never shattered uh, Sowore. No. The whole no, Nigeria was never, the uh, Sowore movement has never been like this. It never. Epa, Epa, so the whole Nigeria did not even shout Sowore. It is it is we the Edo. It is we the Edo that we are supporting Sowore. We the Edo in diaspora, not even them that are home. We Edo in diaspora, we are the ones supporting Sowore. Why the people that we are supporting Sowore, we are own do people. Epa, we should understand it very well, because we that travel see good thing. And so Wore was able to come from abroad and said, no, we can do these things. So Wore's movement today has drawn answers. It was the one that caused that answers. That's why people might not see it that way. If so Wore were not con con continuously in his uh, protest that he was doing, that was doing, that was doing, that we are not motivating people, answers will have not take place. So the more something happened, the more another person learned. The more something happened, the more another person left. One day, everybody will not say, this thing we must go to eat. This is what is happening today. Because people of in Nigeria now are not the ones saying, this is what we want. You tell this thing we don't have structure, no problem. We are the structure. So we are the one following this man. So, okay, those things that the PDP and APC call structure. Is it house? Is it tree? Is it vehicle? What is the structure they are talking about? Is it no human being? So the, the people, there's this one they call movement. Is it no human being that is moving it? Is it somebody, they are not somebody is, somebody is calling from America? Peter will be met. What's the deal? Hello, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, my brother. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. We are not there. Thank you. Um, am I allowed to talk now? Go ahead. Yeah. Tell us your name. Where are you calling from? Yeah. Sorry. I'm calling from the US. 
I've been listening to this program for quite an hour now on the um, quite interesting topic. Um, it is very unfortunate that we are in the South, we are so divided. Yes. It's not by our yes. fault. You know, yes. It's not our fault, but at this time of age, if we if we are not waking up, it's going to be our fault. It's already our fault. It is the game of the colonial masters and the, the British, whom they gave the mantle, which are the people, the Fulanese and the Aousas, is part of their game. Um, Unfortunately, not everybody understands um, the relationship between the... Because you guys have kind of touched every topic. I'm try, trying to kind of, you know, place my hand um, here and there. There is no much misunderstanding between the Benin and the Igbo people by my own perspective. It is the strategy of the colonial masters or the Fulani to further divide us. And we are separate it and we are destroying ourselves for that more. When you, yeah, when you go to the north, they have the entire big vast region, even the middle belt included to themselves, they call it the north. Then you come to the south, they divide the south, they divide the south, southwest, southeast. Then they furthermore dip their hand into the southeast, they divided it the more Niger Delta South South. Say it's time we wake up. How can somebody that studied geography look at a map that it makes sense to carve out rivers, Zayelsa, Delta, and call them South South? Then why not? If that place is South South, P point of correction, the uh, point of correction, color from America. It is yeah. Nigeria who for that divided it into south south and south east before it was uh, western region the midwestern region and when it was yeah but then it was better development came we we took off we took off in the development uh, if the caller is your line, we talk to him or give me chance. I want to correct him. He's on land. Let me correct you, caller. The caller is talking. Caller never land. <laughs> oh, no, he land. He land. I receive it. I want to correct him before he go for that. Caller, you should Kola, understand. Caller is talking. Yes, you should understand for cardinal points. Not is Yes. Now they further come down to divide us. Now, if we want to go by the scope of South South, the knots that are dividing us by grouping rivers, delta, fish, and by as far as so called, what is Lagos and all those people? Why are they not included in the South South? Because by geographical location, they are South South. So you will see there is a game they are playing. See, is no, my brother, my brother, because of its uh, geopo that's why it's called a geopolitical zone. It's not necessary. Yeah. My brother, let me also talk to this guy that is talking. Come on and let the guy from America land. America, uh, go ahead. If I land. need to correct his error before I give a broadcast that error. Uh, my brother, uh, make, 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 I would be glad if a pack can give me a chance just to tell this guy a little thing. See. Are you hearing me, my brother from America? Okay, I can hear you. Are you hearing? Yeah. Okay. 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 See, the Fulani is not the one that divided us. It is the British who forcefully created East and West. And in creating of East and West, men listen now. They listen. Is listen. So the British who created East and West, they created it to conquer Benin. There's no other thing. And they Thank call it for they call it they call it administrative convenience because of resistance. And the entire north was one and they existed as one throughout you are, you are you are saying the same thing, uh, Midwest. Yeah, North but North. the problem is a pareil. I know there's a little slight difference. Now, in, 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 in the south. There are so many ethnic nationality that was not happy to find themselves in that situation. The core region, when we got listening, when we got independent, 
the courage is supposed to exist. So let me tell you for for we to treat it. Okay. Go ahead, call her from America. Yeah, making credit, no finish. Oh. You, you were born in a dog. Say it clear. You were born in a dog. Of course, I get one. Go ahead. Even uh, even uh, 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 Yes. Iwe, Iwe have what you call Iwe. If they have what they call Iwe, they have a man. You will talking my brother if you also give us chance to answer some and i agree with you if you can give you, me you chance, want to answer ask. your question now uh man from america go ahead see, university public see my brother we have one problem in the entire south particularly Igbos, former southeastern part of nigeria and that thing is distrust and that thing there is no truth we are so greedy we are also very wicked i don't include uh, my people from it a lot of people representing us politically they are also very wicked. Look, the entire Southern governors, they came together when the killing was too much. They saw what was going on. After Ruga has failed, they, don't, they were not happy. They went to a meeting. And in that meeting, when they were coming out, they were so proud to tell us power is coming to South. Now, when the campaign began, I wonder what they went there to go and discuss. 
So that is to tell you, you can see how they behave because they don't have truth. In that meeting, that is where they're supposed to say, look, we are PDP, we are APC here, we are Labour, we are this. You know what's going to happen? Power have to go to East. And the reason is this. A Yoruba man has ruled as a president, a Yoruba as a deputy, for good, quite eight years. We in the South South, via Jonathan, we have tested six years. There might have been some, oh, he must come to South, uh, uh, South South to complete their own or South East. That would be understandable. But now they're supposed to agree where the power will go. Then the second thing is this. What is dividing the, the certain part of Nigeria is interest. There is a serious distrust among Igbos of the former old eastern part of Nigeria and this core region, which is like river, cross river, the rest where you start this argument from. Now, for we to hang on these things out, we must speak truth to what is making people not to trust one another. And we can't expect Fulani to come and do that for us. It is we who are from this region that really have to meet and like youth and say truth that look, we this is my interest, this is your interest, this is what I want. And when they agree, they will work together. I use like Bender, you said, the reason why Bender was like that is because of the Oba of Bini and the entire kings of every ethnic kingdom that make up Bender. They discuss issue, they agree before they approach. Nobody plant anything on top of one another. That is why there was no tribal problem because that place was multi-tribal. And yet there was no problem. As you say, you grew up there. So until we return back to that idea of reasoning, instead of you thinking you are superior than the others, you are better than the others. The other one is trying to say we are the majority. We own the land. It's not working. Everybody is suffering now. You call yourself you are a major, you are from South. Where you have people are just using you. They come to your place, they kill your people, they do everything. Who is benefiting? Nobody. So we have reached a critical situation. Like we, we the bender, we still have that spirit. When OB came out, we want truth, we want a change, and that is why you see the youth. Every Benin people or most of the Bender people in the platform of Ethernet have choose Peter OB. And you see a lot of people now are waking up and they have also killed even down to the north. It is left when he get to that power, whether he will understand the real problem of the certain people and provide a solution, a grassroots one. And what I love about Peter OB is not aggressive. In listening, I have seen these two qualities in him. So such people is what, what we need now. And he's not ready to come and share. What are they even sharing money? Who are they sharing it to? You give me 1,000 and destroy my land. My man, we are tired of this dirty game. And we believe that the hour has come, we have to say truth. The South South was created to solve a problem. Anybody from South East must accept it. There are tribes there who want to control themselves. And that is why they put together. It does not deprive you as an Igbo man not to live in their midst peacefully. But when you are trying to tell them they don't supposed to exist for what they believe to be called, you start creating problems for nothing. Who benefit this problem? The Northerners. You can't blame us, we, for all this problem we are suffering in the South. It is the Yoruba and Igbo who so we are not truthful. We don't minus these two tribes. When they correct their error, both Yoruba will be happy, Edo will be happy, Igbo will be happy. Let's speak truth to matters. And the only person that is on ground to move us is Peter Obi. So this is what I feel on my own. Thank you. If I've answered your question, I maybe you, you also get what I'm trying to say. The Sasa have right to exist because the people who make them were not happy to be east and west. That's the reason. Yeah. Let me talk to my brother. Thank you, my brother. Uh, my brother from America. Thank you very much. You will listen to what I'm going to tell you now. My brother have just spoken and tell you how Nigeria was created, how the reason that um, uh, the Mbende or Midwest we are, we are cut out of it. In the real fact, what we are facing today, it is because we now value, because all the Eastern now, if you ask that, they will tell you you are Christian. We, let me tell you where problems started from. We are all Christians. So... Our traditions, whereby the head of Baobini is the head of all, is no longer regarded. If you watch the people that we are throwing some bad, bad words to a uh, doe the other time in Facebook or YouTube or what, they are the Easterners. Now, yes. You can you be insulting me? Can you be insulting me, calling me your friend? Well, uh, why, why are we pushing false narrative, my brother? Why did you no, say they were IPOB. Let's use that word. Let's say it's IPOB. 
said, they, let, they let me tell you this. now, my brother, my brother, you said a queer in the door. It's not a queer. It is called a queer is Portuguese language. So, but let no withstand. Let no withstand. Like Anabra, the Abini people. Anabra. <laughs> they don't yes, want to hear that. Let's, uh, let's put that one aside. Then, you don't, you don't, you don't want to hear. So you, you, don't, you, don't go, you, don't, you don't go. You don't go. opposite of a uh, topical. No, no. Should... Let me put that. No, that true. Let me put that. But, 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 you know, but you know that argument can nobody can accept that no matter how, how much you speak. So no, what's the people point? accept it. People are saying it. Let us not say what I said. It is any good person that we are first person that told me. The but first you, want the told... you want the vote if they are not a do. If I no, no. Hey, pa, no, no. Edo is a do. We can vote. Let, if a Yoruba man says a Yoruba, do, that means a do will not vote for you. Another Igbo man, listen very well. If you go to Abia State, there are Bende there. There are people called Bende. There are local government called Bende. There are Bini people. If you go to Enugu, there are there are local government called Ezik. Did you not know them? They are Bini people. So then, if you go to Eboyi, there are people of Igede. They are Bini people. So I did not say most Igbo are not our brothers, but the Igbo have raised themselves more than the way they're supposed to be. That is the problem we have in the South. So for you thinking they create Sassat out of the East, no, they did not create Sassat out of the East because they're not supposed to belong to East. They're supposed to belong no, to no, the South. You're, 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 not, you're getting it wrong. Where is East? So I did not get it wrong. East. So I did not get it wrong because wait, British, wait, wait, I did wait, not get it wrong. Let me put it before you. British oh. came to, after British has fought the war and said these people are powerful. So let us rule, uh, use less their power. That was where they carry us and say some of my brother belongs to these people. Then some of the other brother belongs to Yoruba. That is how and they, people work. and they told them to start learning language that is not on the that is not their yeah. own. History is there, it's so very that clear. Is where those people said, No, we are not the same. This is where we came from. So this is Which who language we are. They they learn. Which language? I'm Igbo coming. language, how... listen, Igbo language was declared compulsory for the Eastern people while Yoruba was declared compulsory for the West. No, in that's what I'm saying. Why did you say they should learn? So was Igbo language existing before? Yeah, a tribe was there. Listen, a tribe was there that speak that language. It's just like what happened in Ghana. If the language they choose, they give to the people. Ghana, they are two the people, and they gave the local language to the whole of them. They teach them how to read it too. I think, I think we are, I think we are going to we are going to much of the language that they tell you to write in school is it not three language Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa? Do they not tell you to write it in school? Choose one, the one that is your language inside. Okay. So that, they were all idea for conquest. That, 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 let us not deceive ourselves. If by this deceit is what we are facing now, until we say the truth to ourselves and agree and say, okay, how are this thing going to work now? So me that is thinking I'm higher than you. Let me tell you, Igbo guy, Igbo woman have told me that my language is not a language. I should not speak it in where they are. Uh, yeah. Me, personally, it's, it's told me. Man from America okay. is waiting. He okay, said, let he me say, hey, but when they get with the I man know. from America, go on. Yeah. Then another you, person, you, again, yeah. in the church, See. it was a Catholic. A, um, the man a, from uh, America, the man from America, go ahead. Then Igbo can sing a do song. As we both can sing, I don't know. The, the pastor. Okay, when they stop talking, I will talk. Okay, come, the, go on, talk. Okay. Um, another chance to come back in. Unfortunately, or unfortunately, I did not say anything that will create confusion. <laughs> it's like, I don't, like I don't bring five steps out and it. That is not my purpose. That, that was not why I called. I did not have any right to say South South should not belong to where they have to belong. I did not have any right to tell the two people you are not Bini people. I have no right to tell you Yoruba people we, 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 you must take on that evil people. And I started with some statement that I was born you can call me an Edo boy, I will answer you by death. You can call me an Igbo person, I will answer you by parental whatsoever. What I am, the, the sense that I was making is this. These people are dividing us the more. The 
Yeah, yeah, they are divining us because of you have to say truth because of Igbo yeah. and Yoruba, not we, Islam. not we bend it. Forcefully created. Don't remove that word. Forcefully created. We go and bullet. Just say sat and not. We will hear. But by the time you say Eastern region, not that region. Eastern West, and West created 1914 with a barrel of God. Should be mentioned. I understand you, American. I understand you, American. I understand you. Uh, can, Midwest, can you reply him? Because yeah, no if I may people. reply you, my brother, eh? You see yeah. why I said I supported Peter Obi, and I will also use this. Sometimes he listening to us. I will use this medium to also tell him that we are divided in the south. Is a our division is a grassroots problem, and that grass that grassroots problem was di they discover it. Yeah. it Yes. So, it, listen now. Let me point to something to you where the problem lies. America, Even America, we, America, wait, America, wait. America, let me learn. America, America, that, America, wait, wait. America, wait, wait, listen, wait. listen a little bit. I want to tell you something. In the spirit of brotherliness or brotherhood, the certain people after it depended knew very well that the East and West cannot work in the South. So the they they agreed to create four regions from the southern part of Nigeria. Yes. The core region, the southeast, and the midwest. These are discussion. You know, when people talk together, it's just the way we are talking. I want to solve a problem, but this does not mean we cannot be one. People want to have sense of autonomy. However, the western people allow the midwest people to go for the referendum. Now, the core region where you also mentioned, you start this argument like the river, Calabar, and all, have prepared their mind for core region. Go and find your history. But however, the referendum was not granted because the strength was in Enugu then. And in the process of trying to hang on it, military strike. And when the military guys strike, we lost the Bieri. So the distrust is still there among this former eastern part. And we need to cure it if we want to do it by saying truth to fact, don't narrate history to feel you are the victim while the other person is the oppressor. Look where your people made mistake and look where the other people made mistake and there will be reconciliation. So I believe it is the core region that we are the first people to declare an independent country in Nigeria, which is Niger Delta or whatever they call it. And then they were declaring it when an Iboma was a leader. You Which see what the be, problem like? What is core region? What is core region? Any name can be given to somebody. It was a region that was supposed to be carved from the eastern part of Nigeria, the way they carved eastern, western, midwest from the western part. So this is where the, 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 the division started from. So these people were not satisfied being with that eastern region, just the way the Benin were not satisfied being with the west. In a, for them not to treat that very uh, something, led to what we are still facing today so not that that person is telling you you cannot live with me but there is a sense of we have lost our right to the british for coming here to conquer us the people were asking for region the nigeria was formed in their land that is to tell you they were great that is to tell you they were civilized so history they throw it away they start you know trying to narrate history of victim we have victimized ourselves Let's speak through to these things. People want to have sense of autonomy, sense of ability to govern themselves, irrespective of how small they are. I see keep on giving an example. The Midwest, the Bende, never have ethnic problem. You don't have it in, in history. And they were having multi-tribes. They settle down, they talk, they disagree in that talking, and at the end, they agree and they approach. That is why they were having peace. My brother, you're, you not, people, you're not being honest today now. How can you say okay. the Bendel, the Bendel never had any disgruntlement among them? So why do you okay. think that they divided it into two? Listen, we we, we, let us be Listen honest. Now. You, you, yes, you point always. to me, if we are talking, we are educating people now. Point to me, any problem between Edo and Urobo, or Isha versus Eka, or My Eka brother, versus Urobo. No, just no, give no. me that a social time in the history of Nigeria, these people were fighting. 
So what is going on between right now? Forget about even those days. What is going on between the with some job side and and Ishikiri? I, to, I to told you me? before. You listen, what is, you listen, to what is go, you listen to what is going on. Another, uh, 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 another uh, listen to what is going on. Listen to what. Uh, what uh, Edo uh, State and Delta. Listen, Edo uh, State and Delta is having boundary problem. Who what created this boundary? Twins of Urobo and and the Anioma people. Yeah, also, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what is going on. When the job people told, when the job people told Benin that they are not from Benin, why did they not go and tell the job people why are they saying that? So Listen, let us be honest. Let you, us have honest you, you put things in a in a hurry. Let me also point it to you. There are ethnic nationality from a job that we never had to tell you we are from Benin. So I'm not yet to, to bring down anybody. During the Bender era, there was a map for reserve. Every village you see and settlement were having their boundaries and map. It is when the Wazobia came. Edo and Delta was not created by the Edo or, or Delta people. It was created by the so-called Wazobias, pretending that this is the way forward. Where are we today? The population have grown, and there is no boundary. So space does not grow. So there's competition. And this is why you see Ijo and, and Robo Shekiri fighting for land. Because no proper boundary. If the government have boundary, you should go and tell them. No boundary. So who exists like that without a problem? So it is not because the people were once quarreling. It is a modern day crisis, and which is inevitable. And if it is not addressed, it's a keg of gunpowder among the people. So my Thank dear, you. we don't we don't have so, problem. So, so that's why that I'm saying even that. in your Igbo land, even Thank in your Igbo land, you your state, so many of your state let's, boundary let's, is a problematic let's, boundary. Let's, let's give time to Isim Didi. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So my point, the, I think what I'm just trying to say is that please, I I had the way our brother Okunda Oku, uh, spoke. Let us let us uh, try to uh, to 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 move towards the area of respect, reconciliation, and progress. That respect, is respect, because if we keep on doing this. Where you are from, you are from here. We will not know, but it can. This is not. It's not today. This thing starts. It cannot end today. So let us respect each other. And respect where people come from. Unfortunately, and whether we will like it or not, this is not uh, the Bini. The Bini is a respective. Is a till date everybody knows the influence and the impact of Bini. But unfortunately, a lot of even in even among the where, where you consider the kingdom, a lot of people that were under that kingdom right now say that they are no longer under it. So you cannot, you can, you can. I'm saying, I'm not saying all. Oh, no, I'm saying maybe from the other part, maybe outside the those states, you cannot now go outside the those states and say no, you people more. It's like you're you're taking people back, and it will only lead to conflict. So the same thing you're telling us. So even people. They, they divided us, some of our people, they took them elsewhere. But what can we do? So at the end of the day, what we need to understand is that in our mind, let us not put these uh, geopolitical zones too strong in our mind. Let us see ourselves as the South and move together as one. That's why sometimes I get more angry when I'm remembering some of the things that, some of the kind of politics that people like, uh, you know, some of these chieftains in APC of the South are playing. Because it's just to a way of a, a, a causing more division and disunity in the South. So let us respect each other and we cannot be, okay, you can have everything. We are all similar somehow. I've just given you the something of Okuko. Before, I didn't know that there's even Okuko means the same thing in the Vini language. Okay, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is it or, or, or yeah? But there's just a slight difference. But you can see that there's a lot of similarity. So my point is this: we all have something that is linking us, that that we are related. We don't have to be the same tongue. Even even the children of Israel that we are all uh, from uh, uh, Jacob, they have twelve tribes. So we need to understand that uh, we don't have to be from exactly the same community. But we are linked together, and we need to now uh, draw our strength from that one that joined us together. That's even if it's very small. That one that we have in common, we <laughs> hold it and we build on that. Unfortunately, an evil man can come here and be very bitter also and tell you that when he wanted to go for Biafra, why didn't everybody support him? You know. 
So we cannot be going, if we go down that road, everybody will bring out their own issue. Everybody will bring out their own issue. So we need to look towards respect, reconciliation, and way forward, progress. So that's just what I want to say about that. Okay, NDD, NDD, please, so where are you from? Are you from Delta? I'm, I'm from, I'm, I'm from uh, Ibo, I'm from uh, Imo, and also from the South South. The place they call South South. You know, unfortunately, now we have to be calling ourselves South South. Because so, why I ask, because why I ask, in DD, that in DD, I know it's not Ibo. So, so. <laughs> you know, you know, is, you know the time, and I'm for you. No, let, me tell, let, let me tell you, that is why I know my people. Forget how everybody was. In CBD. Not be in the CBD. Thank you, thank you. Okay, CBD. Okay, CBD. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. my my brother. Eh? See, we where yeah. did they go Baba home? Me, for... Baba me dress. Yeah. I need your phone number. I beg. I, I don't put her there for you. I don't put her oh. there for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. See, you see, BD. Eh? We Bini, we don't have problem. This movement of let's see what we can do to change Nigeria for our good. IPOB when they came. They also got the support of some Bini. I tell you, the Igbos in Bini were converted with some Bini people to believe in this movement. And they were shocked because everybody is fed up. But as a time came in, we saw these people, most of their leaders become so stupid. By start attacking people's identity history and attacking people's king, who will tolerate that? If you don't have king in Igbo, I have. It's in my, my own, it's in my blood. It's in my vein and it's in my marrow. You can't come there and be, you know, bring the propaganda. You want me to support you. We, we tried to correct it. It didn't work. That's where the first problem started from. And they still engage on it all to, to today. And look at what is happening in South East today. We say, on oh, no government. Okay, good. We don't know them. But they are destroying the land. And we don't know where Nigeria is going. Thank God now we are voting for this Peter Obi. And I don't know. Only God knows. If they will give him a chance, if they said they want to rob it, what will happen next? Is it not the same people that you need to defend your land? So, my dear brother, the Bini, if you go there, you don't see Igbo having problem in Bini. We don't, we don't treat people. We are very fair and honest to people. But for someone to come and be looking at us, either we are so weak or we are foolish, is a mistake. Because if you trigger a crisis in that scenario, you are not, you're going to see what is beyond your imagine, imagination. But we don't want it that way. We feel we are one and things can work out. This is what my ancestors have been standing for. But we have also come to a point to realize that it's like the country cannot work. The only opener is that will be less supporting. And sometimes when you see social media, Benin is insulting Igbo and the way you think, you think Igbo, Benin people will never support uh, uh, when somebody is an Igbo is a president. We believe in truth and we reason this stuff very well. If you want South to unite and have strength, why not speak truth? To truth, to lie, speak truth where lies is a flying, you have ruled you from the southwest, both president and deputy. Let's support an eastern person so that they can be in the process go there, present your western interest. Midwest people will go before and present their own interest. You, Igbo, will present your east. This one will present that is how to unite people. And in that interest, there, will be, there will be differences, and you will let talk me, and hang on it, and people will start let, moving. Let me ask, let me ask you, my brother, do you, do you even think that uh, uh, Tinobu stands a chance just from your own? I know this is a little bit different from, from my own point of my many people will be rich with Tinobu money and they're not going to vote for him. I'm just yeah, have but, that one in your mind. People uh, are uh, even uh, uh, Midwest Republic. No I, more. I, I, I have a caller uh, on the live waiting, but before then. That question I will answer in CDD. Yeah, uh, this man is a, it's an APC man. Let me answer. In CDD, let me tell yeah. you mm. the whole Southwest state, six states in Southwest, they will all vote for Tinubu. If you add Kogi, it will be seven states. And uh, most likely, wait, not wait, that. You okay. Ask okay. Okay. Let me all right, okay, 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 sir. Then in the north, with his experience in politics, Tinubu will clear most states there, Sokoto and Kanu. Assuming if he can get 50% from Kanu, 
50% from Sokoto because uh, the MIJ is solidly behind him. Masari, uh, you know Tunubu will get Kaduna. He will get most uh, most northern state. Then come to the south, south and southeast, APC has about four governors or more than. So, and votes are with the governors, not with the that's not true. Wait, okay, but, let the pal land, let the pal land anyway. Let it land. Let no, no, I'm saying votes are not with the governors. What, 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 in, what in the general what, what, election? What happened? What you ask question, you, you wait for answer. Votes are with the governor, they will not prefer to lose their state because most of them are ambitious to go for Senate. Some of them okay. are asking for two states. I mean, uh, for their own uh, two terms uh, governor. Then uh, you can it might just imagine that somebody like Uzo Duma, who was on the fourth position in the last election, would prefer to collapse his structure for who? Uh, Peter Obi. If it's going to happen, I would have expected Labour Party to be second position in the just concluded the uh, Ekiti election. Ekiti is one of the states that has a lot of professor educated people, thereby. They have access to internet very well, and it didn't play out there. This is where my problem is. Hey, Paul, this you can't compare state state this thing. Like as you said, Obaseki is in PDP. If you think PDP will go to them because of this, what is going on? Okay. That person is, you, you, he you is a governor. You mentioned Obaseki. You mentioned Obaseki in the past. Yeah, he is. Obaseki understand. Obaseki, what, what Obaseki, once I get to somehow, Obaseki understand what is going on. He has seen it. He has tested it. That is why he decided to warn his party. This is not something you should joke with. You may think these people you call him pre, uh, social media president. Don't worry. Not in six months time, you will see the way they will mobilize people. He will go beyond your control. He know the storm that was around him. And how many people were able to turn it around? Is the magic to him? Okay, I, I, let me just answer that. Please. Let me just give her something to in response to you on that. What happened in Edo State 2020 was as a result, partly result uh, to the APC leaders worked against his, uh, APC, and they have uh, people like uh, Gemoyi, uh, Ariawe. Odubu, they all work against the party because they were not happy with themselves. You can imagine I just it like a do state now. Oshomole in a do not. After God, Oshomole is their God. And all these people you are talking about now, this youth you are talking about now, eh? they are rushing for PVC to exchange for money for the highest bidder. We've seen it before. I'm not campaigning here. One thing I need to point out here now is that uh, uh, people keep accusing me that I'm an APC man. No. The problem is, I want to explain to you now just one minute. The reason why I choose, uh, the reason why I leaned against, uh, I mean, I lean behind uh, 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 Tunubu is that uh, here is a situation. After we have a gentleman arrangement, after eight years, uh, the North will rule after eight years of Northern leader, then it will come to the South. When it came to the South, the people, PDP, decided to play a fiddle by bringing a Northern candidate, leaving us with nothing. Then at that point, I said, I'm no more a Nigerian. I'm going to tear my passport, my Nigerian passport. I'm an Edoma. Nobody should call me a Nigerian. I'm an Edoma. No, I will not agree to be a Nigerian anymore. Until when APC did their primary, they brought a South Western man out, somebody from the South. Then it is then I said, I renounce my uh, vow. Now, okay. now, now, let me land. Let me land. Now, um, um, uh, uh, Peter, uh, Peter Obi, which everybody are clamoring for today, is the part of part of these people. And I've heard the Bata people shouted, uh, so we read, so we read. They went to PBC. I next started collecting PBC and all. At the end of the day, so we read, is been dumped. They not, they not even tease him, talk to him anyhow. 
And this party, this election is going to be between PDP and APC, the front runner. And at the end, if Peter will be win the election, the same people you don't want, they will all rush to uh, labor. I don't know what we are saying. And that's uh, why but you, yes, let them come to labor. Sense. We are waiting for them. They, we, 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 labor will accept them. Epa, what do you have from, to understand? From Europe, from, from Europe, you are waiting for them. Epa, do you know that three, three senators? Epa, this is well. Epa, I want to tell you. The other day, I said this thing. I said, they as you come, no problem. Epa, the house, the, the, if you know Kakudu Bensi Hotel, it's not like the one in Benedion Hotel. It's not like the one of uh, this woman of Bobahi. But they are all called hotels. No problem. Person who sleep in Kakudu can still go to uh, Doris Day O. Can still go to Benedion O. They, they are all welcome. Doris Day will not say because you sleep in um, Kakudu O, you will, not, you, will, you will not accept you. But what matter is, the way I build my house, that is the way you are going to lie on it. And that is why Peter Obi did not tell you what to probe people. Let me, let me explain to you. Let me, let me explain to you what is going to happen after 2023 election. I've seen a situation whereby the youth will come up with a similar one of answers that uh, hey, the rig election you know, we must come out. The people will just kill a lot of youth again. This is where this is why I just kept my cool. I'm not supporting anybody for now. All what I'm saying is that uh, it will be pointless supporting somebody who goes nowhere. It's not in the north, it's not okay. going to win. Epa, let us say this way. We've seen when, a, parties when a black man, Epa, what is going on in Nigeria has been settled by God. When a black man rise up in the United States, it was like a shock. How can a black that man go a to a developed world? country? Place in Ipa, even when they were developed, they still name a place White House. It's not for black person. Nobody walked there when you are black. Built, so, built black so a time came, the people make a choice for a change, and it happened. Now, when you look at my state, as you said, those parties were so divided. The party was divided, but the storm was so high, all level. But, but God today, so kind. To, today, now the people who shouted Togba, they are not regretting. Yeah, we we agree on that. That we are regretting because we don't know this. Because we don't know. Them, let us regret or be on. Let us just see. Let, let us, us just regret. Uh, left, but we will vote for the we will vote Wait, for truth, do the rightful thing. Is left whether we be with or be we make up to regret. Let me explain to we, you. We will regret it, but we already regret it Tinubu, when it's not even yes, a president. Yes, yes, we yes, want to talk of when they are there. Them. So let's you know, know, is it you know, Tinubu that Tinubu boldly came up and admitted that he brought to us what we are facing right now. And he said he will continue from where this man stopped. You are you happy to and he said that yes, he has, he has... Leader, we don't have excuse me excuse me just one second i just want to ask a question how many local government in Bayelsa? eight i don't know eight eight local government in abia in all the votes see uh, buhari didn't need southeastern vote to become a president all the vote, vote in the southeast is just equal to equal to the votes from uh from from Lagos or Kano. So I don't know what people this is just Epa. another waste of time exercise. Epa. Okay, Epa. Epa, let Epa. us not put it in argument. You come and campaign for the person you Epa. love. We Epa. are for Peter Obi, and Epa. we are not for another person. I'm not campaigning for anyone. I'm 